The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Each thing is like a little racism. Yeah, just, just a little, little bit. Dash. Yeah. It's, it's in fun, bro. <laughs> you <know>, racism. <laughs> the ish. Racism can't be in fun. You know how many jokes we say about white people? We kiki and we bust out laughing. Black people can't be racist. Oh, don't start ice. <laughs> <laughs> don't start ice. Oh, oh man. Can't shit, be racism. I like a little racism yeah, shit. You I, do. I mean, yeah. I feel like at 48. That's when it that's hits. That's when it Oh, yeah. That's no, that's when, yeah, when you, whole, stop, you stop being apologetic about it. <laughs> old black people be like, boy, they don't give a fuck. They live life, nigga. I, yeah. I lived through it. Now I can talk about it. Yeah. That's how they treat it. Oh, man. Welcome. You're welcome. You heard welcome. 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 What do you say? I didn't hear him. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got some boundaries. <laughs> Do not you? really. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Don't, no, I don't every, know. It's man. every episode with you. <laughs> and fun. And then he does. But bro, right, that but, don't make it better. Uh, you know? well, and do you have some other fun? I used to lynch niggas for fun. Oh, all right, all right. You gotta take it. My too bad. far. Too far. I'm sorry. Too far. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> that couch. I'm telling you. <laughs> don't, I'm don't telling you. I'm that telling you. Nah, Some of that Newark that. water, man. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, that's a fact. Oh shit. That's, that's how you feel. And yeah. Newark water fucked up too. That's why. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that's how you feel, yo. My bad. My bad. I mean, to hit a sore spot. Oh. oh. That's what I'm talking about. No, I thought it was for a minute. Sheesh. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck y'all thought it was, man? Hold hey, up for a hey, minute. Yo. Hold up for a minute, man. Nah, I ain't know you was gonna do that. Fuck these niggas talking about. That's my that's my theme music. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When and you, I got when you cut that mag off. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> go to that Teflon yeah. Don, huh? I need that. Yo, get your bitch ass up, nigga. Go make it happen. Yeah. I need that right Come there. Come on, I got you. I'm here for I you. Need that. <laughs> I'm here for you. We here for you. What's popping though? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, what's up? That's an intro. You still what's up? It. What's up? You still got it. I'm bro. here today. I'm here today. What's up? Salutations. Round of applause. We get these drops out the way. Yeah, I mean, I was a little under the weather for fucking uh episode 700. Wanted to make sure I came in here well rested, smelling good, feeling good, looking good. How's everybody doing, man? Fuck is going on in here? Feeling great. Feeling man. great, great, man. Good. Fantastic. Good. Energy high, well rested, got some sleep. Mm -hmm. Mental yes, health is good. Spirit sitting right, huh? All yes, sir. All good. All right. I love that. Welcome to episode 701 yeah. of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host. So happy to be here with y'all today, man. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, Joe Budden here with a few really amazing people. The beautiful, the intelligent, huh? Sag Aftra, <laughs> all of fame, huh? Loquacious, <laughs> uh, big M4s in the building. What up, Mel? Hootie who? What up, Mel? Mm -hmm. You don't even write on the board no more, huh? <laughs> At all? No, honestly, hey, let's look, talk look, about look, it. Look, 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 there. No, 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 let's talk about it. I walked in, I, I looked at Mel. I said, "Hey, what's up, Mel?" She was like. I would. <laughs> I said, uh, she okay. Sweet. She get in her, her bag with, she look at you like, nigga, you do it. <laughs> what, what I do? She ain't do even it. speak. We do it. Hey, hey, listen. I was collecting my thoughts. Uh, nah. That's, that was You've it. You've been doing that a lot since Colin came into the picture. <laughs> that's what we're saying. Since Colin. We can uh -huh. see it. You don't write on the board no more. And that's the tough thing about working Bullshit. with women. That's the tough part about working with women. I'm telling you. I wrote on the board last week. Your job will be affected <laughs> when the dick is when the yeah, dick, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be when affected it's started a little confidence yeah. yes definitely definitely how just, you doing listen because it sounded like hate just let me know if you guys are happy for me yeah I am oh, no, okay, okay, no, 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 happy for you. I am we are happy for you I am thank I you am. thank so you that's the hardest he clapped in three years <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never seen him clap that hard. Nah, I like that. Yeah, I like are. that. Yeah. If anybody happy, <laughs> <laughs> if one person gonna be happy now. Oh, man. Big Ish in the building. Hey, hey. big library. How you doing, Ish? I'm good, sir. Good, good. My nigga Flip lost a little weight. <laughs> Yo, uh, Flip is not know. here. He has exercised his podcasting rights, uh, but he is here okay. with us in spirit. Shout we out to our Flip. good brother Flip. Flip. We love you. We miss you, and can't wait to see you. Big Freeze in the building. Hey, Yo. how you feeling, man? I'm feel good, man. Good, feel good, good. You came in whenever you wanted to come in too. You look, nah, not you look at all. nice, matchy matchy. No, nah, you smoke this shit. Always mm-hmm. matchy matchy, man. Nice. You smoke this shit, man. What do you mean, though? Something like you posted a pic of you and your girl. I almost started crying, man. <laughs> well, I love that shit. I love. Oh, we was on some head ass shit. You know I, what we did? I love love. What yeah. you did? <laughs> that big ass Ferris wheel at American Dream. <gasps> oh, you went to the ghetto side. <laughs> we, we, I always, that's the only way to get I've there. I've always wanted to do it. Yeah. You, you gotta it's, walk. It's, it's, it's that side. It is that side. You gotta walk through the food. Look, look, look. You gotta walk through the food court. I didn't wrong? know they had a food. Court. Me neither. I didn't know that Me had neither. Had a food court. I didn't know they had a food court neither. I, I go. She I never stay, been on the Ferris yo, wheel. Shit. I don't want to be with you, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. I didn't know. Your soul. This nigga, yo. No, I'm with y'all on that one. I ain't want to do that shit. I'll be on the her. Maze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be over there by Saxon shit. Yeah. Nah, you gotta go all the well, way up to the top nah, and across. Nah, never that. That's where they be at. Yeah. No, they was. <laughs> Let me stop too because I'm starting to create a narrative with my fan base. You don't say. It's starting. <laughs> yeah, so I want to stop that. What's the narrative? 2020. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah, the yeah narrative? please, please. What's the narrative? What do you refer to them? people as, as the poor? That they poor? <laughs> yeah, way. like they looking at me like, like I like, I ain't, like, I ain't down. <clears throat> What's down? <clears throat> Define down. down. Hold up, hold up. Do that again? Like you ain't what? Down. Hold, hold your left hand up. <laughs> Why you did it with one no, hand? No, no, no. Hold your left hand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You lucky flip. Hold up. Hold up. Hold, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hold your left hand up. I'm down, yo. He no, no, no. Start, hold your, I want it up, though, Paul. He can start drinking his drinks like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I drink my pinky, yo. Uh, look at the pinky. But, no, look yeah. at the nigga wrist. Look at his pinky. He look at the wrist. He has a pinky ring on. Oh, shit. I Oh, yo, nah. Hold up. This is good coffee. <laughs> the it most exquisite. <laughs> I didn't even see the wrist. Oh, that yeah. is that coffee is straight it's from not, Columbia. Come on, this is, this What's is my man name, man? It was flown in. What's my man name? That used to be on the coffee um, thing. Oh God, what was the his old name? head nigga? Yeah, yeah he, he bought it to you personally. <laughs> Juan Valdez. Juan on Valdez. <laughs> on a horse. On a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> he bought that shit to you personally God, on a donkey, yo. Yeah. Man, great coffee, huh? Big Parks in the building. <laughs> yeah, big man, Parks in the building. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, oh. He don't do that. He. I need ah. some of that. Call. I can hear you. <laughs> Zo- you can hear him zooming in. Zoom yeah, in. I can, I can hear yeah, him. Get him. Get him. I, I can oh. hear you. Yeah. Poe oh, is here. Man. Corey is here. <laughs> Erickson is here. You guys are here. That's the most important thing. My Absolutely. man got an expensive hand today. Why you ain't got your baggy right hoodie now. on, yo? Why you ain't got a baggy hoodie on today? He went short sleeves. Yeah, it's still yeah, thirty degrees <laughs> outside, nigga. It's still thirty. It's a hoodie. It's gonna be it's rolled 30. up. Like this. It's still thirty. <laughs> out. All the way to oh, I thought Shoulders. it was a nice day. Uh, I bet you did. I bet. It's nice and warm. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. I like this shit. You, I, I love this shit. Leave me alone, man. Leave it's just good up. to see you become this person. Leave me alone. Can I see that? Uh oh. Can I see that? The ring? You want? You want to kiss it? No. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I Antoine, beg your you motherfucking pardon. <laughs> Yo, you can't. Yeah. No. I, I, know, I know. Jesus, take the fucking wheel. I love. What I love. Yeah, that's when you drive with your left. No, 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 he about to say drive. Watch him. Listen, all right, we, we done. Erickson, I hope I'm you got that. I'm down with y'all. Hey, y'all, let me ask you something. Uh, down with who? You're not just wipe her DNA off your ring. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely just did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she put a fingerprint on it. Just yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, we got Ew. a real good show lined up for y'all today. Ew. We got a great, we got such a great show lined up for y'all today. I did not do that <laughs> Bruh, to my good sister now. No, I did not. Yo. Your skin cells on my shit. <laughs> yeah, we got an amazing show lined up for y'all today. Oh, holy shit! Uh, over the weekend, oh, it was All Star Weekend. Was, was it really? Yeah, I see. Was it All Star Weekend? Yes, Friday, Saturday, and oh. Sunday. I was in the house on some on some just resting shit. After so. the jeweler, mm. it's heavy. You had to, you rest. Had to rest your arm. You had to yeah. rest. <laughs> 
here. I can't escape the narratives because of my friends. No, no, no it's because what? It's because of my it's friends. Us. I'm it's telling us. you, it's us. It's because of y'all. Dog. How? I'm telling you, it's y'all. You have coined the pores. I have not. You need this trade. I'm uncoining. You, need you have a drop market. that said hide the money, y'all. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? Cause that, but that started as like a joke between friends, and now over the airwaves, like it's being manipulated by my audience. So we do have to stop that. We gotta stop. We got. We got to We didn't start. We we as a people. We 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 speak French with you. Yo, he's down. Yo. I'm not. Yo, he's he's down. not down like that. I'm not down. What's with like you. that mean? The, the, the this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about, nigga? So Friday was the what happened? Where y'all want to start with the game? Uh, I didn't see the celebrity game. I caught um, a little bit of it. I saw the celebrity game. Yeah, man. See my man get busy. Oh. Jock and shooting everything he touched. Oh, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just going to shoot every fucking thing. Michael Parsons had like 40 points or something crazy like that. That's how you do it. They put my phone out. I might, have, I might have notes. Got MVP, you know. I might have some notes. Let him win something. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, like defensive player of the year. Hey, listen. Rookie of the year. You know, that's all right. I don't want no sauce. But nah, okay, um, the skills challenge. I want to start there. All right, that's Saturday night then. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about what happened Friday night. Cool. Friday night. I watched all of this. We Friday night, y'all was goofy out there. I'm going to try to lose 30 and play next year. In what? Okay. I represent us well. Okay. <laughs> get hit little hot spots? No, I'm going to get buckets. Yeah, no, but those I'm, little I'm five jo- point I'm shit. I'm jocking like Yeah, Michael. but they got like the four point the hot spots. And all that. Yeah, you got to shoot from there. I, I don't got to do What's that. your plan? To get in shape for that. <laughs> put that fucking candy down. If I put the candy down, so oh, you, right. you see what I sent you over the weekend? I did. Okay. Mom. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it was like it was a way to detox from it's like a, a sugar detox, addiction. Sugar detox. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it shows you what sugar is more addictive and all that shit. And you sent them the, the movie link, right? Uh, yes. Send me find you'll find something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Still. God well, I mean he damn. wasn't he wasn't in the iPhone group chat. Thank you, Mel. Oh, don't sorry. listen. Don't even feed into this <laughs> duck. Skill, skills challenge. Right. I sent it. Yeah, I also sent it to you. Skills challenge. Well, at that point, okay. we're calling, going through the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Colin green bubble pop what? up. Let me tell you something. In the dark, the green bubble pop right up. <laughs> Which is just bright. So you better be careful. Get you a little privacy screen. Be safe. Nah, she got the good, the good Trump card though. It's work. I was work. Yeah. It's just work. It's work. It's work. That that ain't. Why did I ain't even asked y'all that? Why y'all keep saying it? Okay, uh, skills, skills, the challenge. skills challenge. Why did they make the thingamajiggy so big now? Where you passed the because they tired of these niggas getting up there and looking it. stupid. <laughs> niggas be spending forty five seconds trying to bounce so the they, ball through. So it. they yeah. decreased the skills and the skills challenge. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> for entertainment is what happened. Yes, yes. right. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't even do couldn't follow directions with that. <laughs> they had oh. we had to weave in and out of the. Uh, the, the, the stands and they niggas is going around the wrong way no no stupid come back go this way <laughs> like bro that's why they tell us shut up and dribble yo <laughs> like, no, I'm playing a little bit of racism sprinkle racism bae <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's a dash then I'm then I'm getting old so they've got all of this high tech Fancy shit on the court. The floor. Pause. Right, no, no. Hey, pause, man. Bring back hardwood. <laughs> Bring it back. Yo, it's basket. It's still basketball. It is. Why it the is. fuck are they on some video game shit, nigga? I'm 40, however old my retina start fading. <laughs> yeah. They're trying, they trying to kill the younger up. motherfuckers. Here. I got to turn the brightness up on my screen now. Shit get different in your they whole graphics and shit up there, video display. Yeah, mm-hmm. but listen. Niggas is much. old watching this shit, man. It's not for us no more. They mm-hmm. they turned the paint into they start putting niggas' faces yeah. and they yeah. highlights in the paint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, where is Matumbo when you need him? <laughs> Mel. Whatever happened? Oh. Nigga, it's your job. Oh. 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 Talking about niggas, okay. I will okay. kick you in your face. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I guess it's my turn today. <laughs> oh, uh, you want to text over the weekend? <laughs> you want to text some shit? Uh, yeah, that shit was just a lot going on. It's too loud. It was, it was loud. Yeah, it's too much. It's a technology. Could, could be over techie, yeah. especially the niggas mm-hmm. our age. Like it's, it's I'm still it's, getting over the end season tournament. Them loud ass yeah. courts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The stupid ass court. So I, yeah, it was a little too much. But okay, come on, come on. Let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next. Day. I guess we got mad shit to get to in the All Star Weekend. Three, we do three point shootout was the next one, right? Yes. The, the dunk contest was first. No, 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 no that's first. never first. 
That's last. Oh, yeah, that's last. It, it should have right. been first. Part, it should have yeah, been. It should have been on Thursday. You are correct. Yeah, it should have been Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> the dunk but, contest is done to me. Well, wait. We okay, on three well, point. We, on we on three point <laughs> contest. Brother. We on the three point. We contest. Going in order. Uh, that was the only highlight. That was uh, the highlight of the entire of the weekend. entire week. Yeah, three point contest. That's it. That's but that speaks to the game too. It does. Like I was watch. I, I will. I'll, sp- I'll tell you about it when we cover the actual All Star game. But the three point contest was the only thing that they actually took seriously. It looked like true. Actually. Like the actual players who were involved, that's what they wanted to win. And there's actual stars in the yeah, three-point. Because that is, basketball now is about the three-point shot. It is. So fuck the dunk, fuck the, the skills, fuck who you could bounce past and do all this other shit. Can you hit threes? Right. To them, if I win the three-point contest, that that's like that means something. The rest of this shit is nothing. I'm not even competing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's why I try to start with the dunk contest. Because <laughs> the finale is the ta da da da. Like, it's the three point contest is the show. Remember, like, if you won the dunk contest, dog, that shit was something that was major. when we was young. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan versus Dominique Spud. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'd be like, man, fuck I don't man. even know who these niggas are. Yeah, at all. I'd be like, who? They specifically are bringing McClung up from the G League, bro, because he's oh, the most. He's just going to make us talk about the dunk contest. Yeah, <laughs> go, ahead. Go, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying. Come on. Come on. Come on. We, we they they made him come up from and, and, and be in the All Star. Weekend because he's probably the most prolific dunker in both. They need to bring well, up he more. Won, he won last year and this year. And I'm just saying that's yeah. another way you got yeah. to defend your title. Last year he was on the Sixers for a small portion, but you know through the G League and now you're back in G League. So yeah, you still got to come up. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think it's trash. I love the three point contest, uh, but I mean. Once I saw Dame Lillard was like trying to be for real, <laughs> then it sucked, sucked the fun out of that for me. It's like Dame Lillard is still Dame Lillard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he proved it. Hey, all y'all go up here and tie with 26. 26. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Y'all have fun. And then I'll take care of it. And then when Jalen Brunson lost, I was like, oh, it's in the bed. Uh, he was I, looking I, good through three. The, three. The la- he, if he hit the last shot, he'd have had 26. Yeah. yeah. He'd, have been, he'd have been up there too. Yeah. Three fists, I, some I, last two buckets. I know you were I was like, come on, Jay. Ah. But I mean, the three point contest was fun and it was it entertaining. Was. It was competitive. To, to, to you guys. Bro, point. we had four. They didn't even make it to the second round. They had four, normally three advanced. Yes. Four people topped with 26. They had to do a sudden death 30 yes. second round for everybody just to get to the finals. Mm-hmm. That don't happen. So that, that tells you how they took this shit serious and that was the most competitive sure. event of the weekend. Did you guys are, like are, the gender wars? I was about to say, are we being misogynist today? I am. Yeah. I'm being very misogynist. Yeah. Uh, yes. Never that. You want to do it? Yeah. Is, can we do it, Mel? Yeah, sure. Knock yourselves out. There's gender wars everywhere. Wow. All right. They even brought Steph through. Curry versus Sabrina. Three point contest. <laughs> I like it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> out of here. I'm, I know I'm going to catch hell. I, don't I liked it too. I liked it. I liked it. I thought, listen, if we love the three point contest, then. I think they should go further with it, though. Like, bring more WNBA players over and. I Make think they plan to. Thing. Listen, they waiting on that Caitlin Clark girl to, to yeah, be yeah, finished yeah. Uh-huh. so they could really sell some tickets. Yeah, for sure. Think- My thing is if this is to highlight the WNBA is what they're trying to do, mm-hmm. bring attention to them, the WNBA, uh, WNBA has an all-star game too. Do but, it there. But it don't but, receive but, nowhere it, it, near the money. And, uh, and that's how you do it. If you have your big name Steph Curry – Say I'm playing in the I'm I'm challenging her in the WNBA All Star game. Guess what? Mm. Everybody's gonna watch that. Your sponsors are gonna pick that up because it's Steph Curry. Sure, mm-hmm. they're gonna watch NBA All Star Weekend regardless. But I think they wanted to slowly bring it in. I think the yeah the because I don't think yeah. they thought she was gonna do what she did. She I think they did know no, they do exactly they what she was gonna do that. No, That's they know she, she can shoot. I don't know what her with the bright lights against the most prolific shooter of all time that she loses by one shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean I don't think this? that they no. I'm de- I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass. Oh, okay. I don't know that they think she could do that from the man three point line. She was shooting from the male three point line. She shoots from it in normally. She shoots from half court. I'm just saying with that level of consistency, I don't know if they thought that. And so I think they're gonna roll this out into the female one. You get what I'm saying? I was just have having ideas. fun guessing all the people that just that girl looked like because I wasn't really familiar with her. <laughs> We talked about it on the show in the, during the season. You know how many people I talk about no, on the show that I'm not familiar <laughs> with at all? You're supposed to go to the games when your dad was here. Like, they, they was killing. She was killing all the year. But it's cool. She looked like young Julia Roberts. Like okay. Julia Roberts' niece. I see, mm-hmm. I see that. A little bit of Matt Damon's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't see <laughs> 
funny. I'm with you with the Julie. Nah, it, was, it was definitely some mad. They go day. with the Goodwill hunting. Yo, what's wrong with Julie? But anyway, so they, they struck this woman out there, and she goes, runs through the first rack. Mm. Bow, 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 bow. And the second rack. Then second. she got to the second rack. Bow, 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 bow. She's going crazy. Oh, they trying to, oh, I got to listen to Kenny Smith and Reggie Miller try their best to give some suspense to this thing, but she was shooting. Mm -hmm. Like, she'd have smoked that shit if you're not going against <laughs> Wardell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going against him. It's really him. Mm -hmm. And what I love about him, he always looks so cool and calm. When you got that type of rifle on you, he didn't okay. give a fuck about nothing that she was nothing. doing out at all. He gave a big hug, smile, oh my God, you did great. <laughs> I'm going to oh, smoke you now. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Now watch this. Yay for the game. <laughs> now move, bitch. <laughs> now move. And did what he do. No, no. He. I think he beat her by one on, on the purpose. strength. On yes. <laughs> he might have That's what I, yo, if he would have dropped, if he would have went up there and put 33 up, 35, 40, yeah, he, it would have been think pieces about yes. that shit. Yeah, he beat her. And that's what I said. I'm like, bro. Then he what did y'all think? What, came out. Yes, you ha I, you got to take it easy. You think he tempered his performance? I 100% yes. think he did. This is Steph Curry that's we're Steph talking Curry. about. Okay. Yo, dog, the crazy part with him, yo, is the nigga shoot so good, he ain't even into the man competition. I'm going to let y'all get one. <laughs> listen, what do y'all think about, listen, first of all, Kenny Smith was off that Taylor port. <laughs> I don't care what you thought about Sabrina versus Steph Curry. <laughs> Kenny Smith was off that Taylor port. It, yeah. it was telling the truth. And Reggie he Miller was go. trying he to. Tried. He was trying his best. Yo, we on TV. We got Yo, sponsors. Dog. This ads. Please. We got the we got the, the script. We supposed to you Joe, know try to big this up. Nigga on, that nigga was gone. He was on his Joe shit. <laughs> that nigga Joe just start talking. Versus Whitman in the three point contest, we put the best four NBA players against the best WNBA players. Shooters shoot and let's see it. Even playing field. There's no 10 foot rim. Oh, see, that was the first thing that was funny. Knock it down. Well, according to you, you want her just playing with dolls, right? No, I want her, I want her to shoot from <laughs> no, where she shoots from. No, she does shoot threes in the game, not from there. Caitlin Court, all right. All right. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Wait, so that was the funny thing about Kenny Smith. He he was so gone off the Taylor Port that he started arguing against his own point. <laughs> his was point drunk. was, yo, shooters shoot. Right. So when she was getting busy, I don't care about nothing else going on, shoot or shoot, put mm -hmm. them anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and they're going to get it done. Mm -hmm. By the time it was over, he was arguing that she shouldn't she have shouldn't shot. She should be on right. the same equal From where she so was shooting. Man, right? Yeah, that don't she make sense. shoot from her, from her, her line. I, I, I think she should have shot from her. Stop it. She should have shot from the women's line. That would have been a fair contest. A I still root for Sabrina. I still root for Sabrina. We all are rooting for Sabrina. No, this is not Sabrina. She should have shot from the three-point line at the women's shoot from. Why are you putting those boundaries on her? That's not a boundary. She wants That's what the game is. She Reggie. wanted to shoot. They have a smaller ball, don't they? Oh, oh shit. WNBA ball. WNBA ball is smaller. She shot with the WNBA yeah, ball. She, she should have shot from the line. It, it, there's a women's team in golf and there's a men's team. Oh. For a reason. No, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shoot or shoot. Didn't know what you said? Yeah, but they shoot from where they shoot from. So, <laughs> no, 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 good job, Sabrina. No, but don't let any man put boundaries on Yo. <laughs> He's wild. <laughs> Kenny Smith, you cannot say that, <laughs> say that. on the air no. while they're doing that. Yeah, they're trying to do when this is, yeah, they, yeah, they have a goal trying, here. Yeah, there's a plan that somebody should have tapped you and told you about. Somebody should have cut the mic. <laughs> Reggie was probably <laughs> kicking the shit out of him under the table. Like, oh, Dog, they did that Damn. for the whole broadcast. Yeah, he was uh, yeah, He was gone. Kenny was gone. He had a little now, bit too much fun out there. How do y'all, yeah. now where do you guys stand on this, the With, three of you? I, I told you. I mean, I get what they're trying to do. I just think the way to do it would be... Girls' hands are smaller than ours. No, the basketball is fine. <laughs> but the range, I think if she could shoot from pro range, let her shoot nope. from pro range. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> he almost did it. I never. He, uh, he, no, about to me. No. Almost, he almost got me. <laughs> I was... <whoa>. No. <laughs> that boy good. Crazy what do y'all think about Kenny Smith saying that the girls' basketball is smaller? It is. It and is. That they hands are smaller. They are. They yeah. are. It, the, they shoot with a smaller ball. It should, she should shoot with a smaller ball. Yeah. Yeah. But I like shooting at the same distance. If she wants to shoot that shit from half court and it's a competition of them shooting from half court, let them rock. 
Yeah. Pro pro woman. I'm woman's rights, bro. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Mel? No. Mel, you good? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. Oh, oh you I've just did your gym to the camera thing. I, no, no, no. Uh, uh, and everything. No, no, you did. I I, mm. I appreciate that. I appreciate. You're so wishy washy because sometimes you'll argue that issues down for women's rights. Don't try to paint it. Because like sometimes that. he is. And sometimes he's not. And sometimes he's not. So you all are always. At, <laughs> you, you try, boy, <laughs> man, come on, get it out. <clears throat> if you're sometimes down for women's rights, and then sometimes you're not down for quote unquote women's rights. Aren't you always down for women's rights? You just don't agree with certain things. Mm, take that, Mel. I love my friends, <laughs> but if my friends be wrong, I can tell my friends that they wrong. That don't mean I'm anti my friends. It's just mm. that on that particular thing, you, I think you're wrong. Smoked you. Yeah. Muffin. I, yeah, yeah. Muffin. 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 It's the hoodie. Like, By the hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that ish dot net. Yahoo. <laughs> Geo City. <laughs> Whatever, Yahoo. <laughs> He's an idiot, yo. Mm. Um, oh, all right, so what else? What else? What else? Oh, all right, then the dunk contest. Yeah. Yo, first of all. It's over. Well, yes. <laughs> Lower the rim. Word. So Word. at this point, y'all ain't trying to, y'all ain't being competitive. Lower the rim. Ban jumping over things. Before we get to whatever y'all are trying to say, that audience out there, y'all need to be reprimanded for what y'all did when those judges were announced. That's what I got written in my Who notes. Who were the judges? <laughs> it was so Yo, them niggas was naming off stats. Our first judge. Nine-time defensive player of the year. <laughs> Seven-time all-star. You know him as the glove. Gary Payton. <laughs> yo, they did that for the glove. I was sitting there like, yo, that's Gary Payton. And they got to the next day, he just kept getting worse. This nigga was from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the next one was Indiana Pacer legend. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Dale Davis. Oh, Antonio <laughs> Davis. Is like, no, it no. Uh, 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 I forgot who it was. Fred Jones. Oh, the old, oh, Fred Jones. They shit on Fred Jones. They did, they did. I shit on Fred Jones. They was like, when they announced the wall. <laughs> Then they went to the 70s. They were like, this guy was an ABA all-star. I was like, uh-oh. You better cover your ears, you buddy. have Dr. J. They were not- like, don't make some noise for Darnell Sam. <laughs> niggas was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, I was at home doing the same shit. Nah. I was too. Nah, that was fucked up. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> so then it got to the end with Dom and Dom. Oh, no, with Dom- Churchman, too. <laughs> it was quiet for Mitch Rich, man. Man, it, was quiet. it was quiet It was quiet for Mitch I'm sorry <laughs> buddy it was quiet. Listen It wasn't so loud for Dominic He, he, he it, got it the wasn't. most it, got Yeah it. but he got it like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright cool So that's what y'all did to the judges And now Stupid Nick fan me sitting in the bed They pan over the fucking Jacoby Toppin uh, he's stretching. They're like, <laughs> I'm a Nick fan. I know he just started getting burned when the whole team went down. <laughs> they said, and now. <laughs> they couldn't even think of nothing. <laughs> they, they like, uh, from, from the Nick. He, he, eat he, eat eat <laughs> yeah. he eats Twizzlers on Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> his, his brother's a pacer. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for Jacoby. Oh, Top it, nigga. Flatline. <laughs> Can hear a pin drop. <laughs> Nobody made a peep. Nigga, I started trying to clap loud at home. Like, come on, <laughs> yo, come on. <laughs> so they did that to him. <laughs> then Jalen Brown was there. Cool. People know Jalen yeah, Brown. Yeah. Great. Mac McClung, we seen you last year. So <laughs> we know that you here to kind of save the day. Cool. First round come. Jacoby had enough of it. He's going crazy. Go, 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 oh, he killing that shit. They that nigga 30, 30, 41, 40, 40, 41, 41. Wait, but look, Gary Payton, every time y'all look at his face, he <laughs> like, push the button. Yo, yo, that nigga Jacoby Toppin was, they put his head by the backboard and he was like 27, 29. I was like, oh shit, this shit is rigged. Then he talked about some, uh oh, he's wearing the sneakers that his brother wore last year. I was like, wait, wait. We barely yo. know your brother, nigga. 
<laughs> we ain't fuck with Obi, nigga. <laughs> oh. We barely know him. Oh, Why shit. they telling us that he got Obi's <laughs> sneakers on? Who cares? <laughs> Yo. We like, don't uh, care. He Oscar Robertson is <laughs> oh, oh, my man, God. So, anyway, Jacoby uh, didn't make it to the thingamajig. Nah, nah. No. So, then Mac Lung out there just, Mac McClung out there just jumping over anybody, <laughs> yeah. anything. He putting them out there. Oh. But Jalen Brown got some name recognition, so I'm waiting to see him. I must have been on my phone or something, but by the time I looked up... <laughs> oh, they, had, no, they missed his first dunk, I yeah. think. <laughs> they didn't even put the shit on TV. The camera panned they off They zoomed up and showed, yeah. like, the overhead. Ooh, we made it to Boston Court. That was a slap in the face, Jalen Brown. Hey, hey, get pan on me. That was some complete bullshit that they did, <laughs> but... That he did or that they did? That they Both. did. <laughs> they they <laughs> co-conspired <laughs> okay. together. Okay. Jalen Brown didn't have to do shit. He could have went out there and tied the shoe and made and, it to the next made round. It to the Poor minutes. Jacoby Toppin. He did. Poor yeah, Jacoby. That's, that's yeah, so I looked down at my phone. I was eating or some shit. And by the time I look, I see my man Jason Tatum. Y'all know I'm Tatum gang. He come out there, coach Hunts smooth as ever, black and white. He fire. looks fire. Yeah. Big hounds. Big hounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big hounds. <laughs> Big yeah, 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 come on. Stop playing with Jason Tatum. Yo. And then they bring out fucking uh, Kai Sinet. <laughs> so now I just got to chill a little bit. Let me get my hate music ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my hate music ready. Hold up, man. This, 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 this little hate. My man, my man Zorro from the Heat put a hat on and dunked. Oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> Sorry, man. The hate is in me. <laughs> The hate is in me. Listen, so they bring Kai Sinat at. Uh, Kai Sinat. Cool. Fly. I like I He's on live. I yeah, support. Streaming. I support the youth movement. Mm -hmm. Bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. <laughs> I want to live in a world where the streamers and everyone else can get along. I'm waiting to hear it. But, <laughs> you know, listen, I'm not too old. I remember Blake Griffin dragging the Kia out onto the court. Mm -hmm. One round before, someone jumped over Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. First dunk. First dunk. I done seen these niggas jump over Taco Fall. I seen niggas jump over a whole row of niggas. You see a topping jump over a topping. Yeah. They're pretty tall. So Kaisenak comes out, and he ain't the tallest of brothers. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, all right, cool. And then he sits down. <laughs> and I said, oh, shit, these niggas is playing in my face right now. <laughs> Hold up. Now y'all are playing in my face. I and thought then, they might do some fly shit. And then Jalen the the Brown <laughs> bum ass got the nerve to miss the first dunk. <laughs> He missed the dunk. Bad, he bad. missed the whole he ball. He's talking about, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Jalen Brown. Keep going. Three hundred and twenty million dollar Jalen Brown. He missed the whole dunk at the end. Got the nerve to try to hit no. He tried to hit his D Brown. When he, about no, no, at, he landed. When he landed, he landed. He landed and tried to hit the D Brown. I, I did it, y'all. So then, when he made the dunk, he still tried to get that bum ass D Brown. On what is wrong with these people? <laughs> that was terrible. No, no, was the funny part. Listening to Vince Carter, who's arguably a top three dunker in history. Trying to articulate these bum ass dunks and they be couldn't. politically correct, he's like, yeah, you know, it was, uh, you know, yeah, something. <laughs> he dunked. <laughs> like, yo, I'm like, okay, bitch, you got it, my nigga. Like, he nah. wanted to diss the shit out of them. Like, yo, he paid homage to D Brown. I'm like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> first off, you disrespected he went, he, D Brown. He went like this first, like he was pumping the sneakers like D Brown had, but uh, he yeah, didn't have pumps on. <laughs> <laughs> you can get pumps still. I got them. You can get them. They make them. He just went down there and squeezed. I'm like, I, don't wanna, I know he's not doing it. I that. don't want to totally shit on Jalen Brown. I do. Because, I do. Because, I mean, the dunk contest does need name recognition, right? Sure. Like, we have been saying. There's two things it needs. You got to show up, though. It's name recognition and competitiveness. You why is it? Why is it lost its luster? Because there's no stars in it. Because the stars part won't. Because LeBron said, I'm not doing that shit. Mm. Not just him. And no, I think that's, that's unfair, where, too. That's where it started. I, I don't think so. I, I totally disagree with that. I know Stephen A. keeps saying that. I, I've been, we've been saying that for years. I totally disagree with that. I think that the luster, that don't mean that they can't, because the best dunk contest of recent was Aaron Gordon and um, Zach, Zach Levine. Levine. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And they went at it twice. And yeah. those dunks were creative. They were. They were fire. 
Fire but fire. it still didn't have the same luster as when the stars are participating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah. I don't. With the stars yeah. thing, like some of the more remember, D Brown wasn't really a star. Harold mm -hmm. Miner wasn't really a star. Like there was but there non -stars, were stars in there. They just happened. Spud to win. Webb wasn't a star. Like it was so just I, something interesting that five, happened. Seven, but nope. there were stars yeah. in there. The, the stars still did. You're right. It. You're right. Yeah. I think that the Zach Le the Zach and Aaron Gordon dunk contest is another large part of why stars are reluctant to do it. Zach Levine did all that shit out there and lost twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Aaron Gordon was doing some the, shit. Yeah, yeah. They both was going crazy. They were both going crazy. They were. Gordon lost. He did the best dunk. They was going crazy. They was going crazy. I, Eagle Dollar lost when he did the best dunk to Nate Robinson. Like, it happened. Like, Oh, yeah, that was a mess, too. That was a they, robbery. When Robinson. They gave it to him because he was shorter and he did the Superman, all that. But performative. He, yeah, performative. Yeah, good, good point. That's part of it, though. Yeah, he didn't nowhere near the best dunks. That you're night. right. Mac yeah. McClung out there looking like fucking Baptist McCaffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this white boy just jumping off or bouncing off the shit with his pug nose. That nigga look like a pug. Yo, right? He jumped over two whites. He looked like an exotic <laughs> French bulldog in the face. <laughs> he stacked up the whites and jumped over them. Nah, like we up, man, we up. Yo, Phil, what's wrong with you, yo? <laughs> nah, for real, he was getting this shit off. Like, look at him, oh, look at him. Man. And now, look what you made me do, Jalen Brown and Kaisen on Black History Month. Not really Kaisen, that Jalen Brown on Black History Month. Y'all made, y'all got me. Oh, when I seen Jalen Brown do that bullshit, boy, was I rooting for Mac McClung the whole rest of the way. <laughs> yo, hey, please get this nigga out of here since he want to jump over Kaisen sitting down. Barely. <laughs> And miss. That was more of a streaming thing. And too. get to leave and get go home to That's Bernice, man. Get him the fuck out <laughs> That's of here. should have jumped, jumped over. over Bernice. What are we doing? <laughs> Let us stand out and hold the ball like that. 50. Facts. <laughs> Quick. I only got to see the dog. She walked out 50. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, big dog. Yeah. 50. Yo, oh, Impact, Impact New York. I'm watching that show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start it. But Impact New York put a little clip out. Well, Bernice posted the clip. It's Bernice's daughter talking about something. Yeah, uh, got some shit to do next weekend. Uh, I need you to babysit. <laughs> Bernice looked up like, do I look like a fucking grandmother to you? <laughs> look at me. <laughs> you fail. My daughter said, these new age grandmas don't want to watch nobody. <laughs> what is it like here? That's new reality shit? Uh, yeah. Impact. Impact. Yeah. Uh, they have Impact Atlanta and Impact New York. Okay. And... Impact New York centers around all the young girls that are rapping and trying to get their shit popping. Okay. Should have brought up Bernice. Yeah. And Bernice is not watching. Girl. Smoke a hookah. I'm out. But anyway, <laughs> uh, back to the dunk. <laughs> what? Back to the dunk contest, right? We done with uh, Baptist McCaffrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn. What's wrong with your brain? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Christian is the only other white boy I see that's like, you got to, as a black man, you just got to be like, all right, they got one. They got, they got, they got, right. Right. They got yeah. one. Hey, you right, yo. But Mac McClung was out there. I'm like, okay, they got one in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> they have one in they the do. possible they now. Do. They do. Uh, as far as the all-star game, I personally am working on a petition. We're only looking for Seven million signatures, right? I never want to see Luka Donk, Chick, and the Joker in another All Star game ever again. Please sign the <laughs> petition if it comes to your <laughs> if it comes to your city. I have never seen two niggas not give any type, no type of, of fuck, fuck <laughs> at all about that. Now listen, y'all all y'all are all All Stars, so I know. And rest in peace, Mamba. Nobody cares. But them two niggas care a lot less than everybody else. Yo, the Joker started complaining to a ref in the All-Star game when they threw the ball off his back. Mm -hmm. he, he went to the he ref. Ran down there yeah, you know the ref, I'm yo. the fucking MVP. Right? You know who the fuck I am? You ever let some shit like that happen? Hit me again. with a ball again. I'm a turn. Yeah, up. I respect it. My brother's my brother right there. <laughs> my brother, he runs That Paul nigga Luca tried to dunk, caught the spasm, but I didn't even care about that. That happens to the best of us. When they inbounded that ball, 
and Luka Doncic took one dribble by the opposing free throw line and shot that shit. I said, oh, wait a second. These niggas are playing with me. <laughs> These niggas have no respect Zero. for my fucking files. <laughs> for my dollars. For nothing. For nothing. <laughs> he did that shit and then went, checked out to tweet. He talking about two for one. Nigga, I'll fucking snuff the shit out of him. I will snuff the shit out of Luka Doncic. I just seen him drop 40 on my team two weeks ago. What are we doing right now? Niggas don't care. He, he said, yeah, I don't care that you don't care. But that level of not caring is disrespectful. That's it true. is. When you selling a product for mad bread, them all-star tickets don't be cheap. Man, they said Adam Silver was tight. I could believe so it. should have been. It wasn't like intentional comedy? No, this no. Ain't, this, ain't, nah. this ain't the Harlem Globe A lot of times, them niggas don't even really want to play. That's what I mean. They're that, not getting that, paid. I know. That's what I mean. So it's isn't it like that's what I thought. No, the league is is now filled with like Prima young Donna's. men, Prima Prima yeah. Yeah. yeah, very very it's rich niggas ones. that grew up in the iPhone era. Them uh -huh. niggas is is gamers. Yeah. Like, that's why the NBA court looked like that old all of yeah, the yeah, game yeah, shit. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. Kais and that and yeah. all the streaming world yes. is out there. Yeah. Like, that's what the NBA is now. Yeah. So, these niggas ain't trying to do none of that shit. I went back and started watching some of the old All-Star clips, like from the 80s and from yeah. the 90s. Nothing is driving you, nothing is driving you to play outside of competitive nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was like we didn't get to see all these people that's on the court. Right. Or it used to be exciting. Play, playing against each mm -hmm. other. Mm-hmm. And some of them niggas really hated each other. Yeah, they mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring back the days, nigga. I saw Magic Johnson go in the game and bleed. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah. You want to talk about suspense? Yeah. <laughs> I see Carl Malone like. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. You want to talk about the, the tone of the game changing? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy I saw that. <laughs> it was crazy. Yo, you, are... <laughs> you know you remember that. I definitely remember Nigga, he checked in that whole stadium with my. Like, Holy <laughs> oh my shit. God. Where is this about oh. to go? <laughs> I saw Michael Jordan come back. Holy <laughs> shit. No wonder he made that last shot. Ain't I saw Jordan, Jordan come back. I might have been at that All-Star uh, All Star weekend. Oh, oh my not God. Not All-Star game. But when Mike came back and him and Kobe had that shit going on. What else we seen? You know how much fly uh, shit we seen? The AI versus Kobe shit in DC was the, my favorite. I was there. Oh, DC, I was there. <laughs> how was the game? It was, <laughs> it was on and popping. It, it was, was on and popping. <laughs> I just had to find out wherever Iverson wasn't going to be. And be there. And I'm out. I'm lit. Fiesta had just dropped. It was lit. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good old days, boy. <laughs> what? No. I was at All Star Weekend in Philly. Man. I only been to LA. They did it at LA mad times. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. other thing about All Star Weekend. I told you it's about Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Nothing against Indianapolis. You was right. Nah, they said that shit was a ghost town. You was right. They said that shit was a ghost town. Where? I didn't see any of the thotties. Mm -hmm. Nothing. They said I didn't see none of the thotties in Indianapolis. And the weather was, was fucked up on top cold. of that. Yeah. It's a bad combination. Mm -hmm. I right. think they need to start picking. Well, next year it's in the Bay. Mm. Careful. Like the bay is lit. Yeah. Careful. The bay is lit. The bay it is, is lit. I'm just saying. The bay's got issues. They ain't gonna cross the bridge. The bridge across the bridge. The bridge across the bridge. The bridge across the bridge. I love the bay though. I, I love the bay. I love it out there. You guys here. haven't been love to the, the bay, bay in a minute. The bay is different. I've never been. It is what different. Do you mean? What do you mean? It's just got some like real serious issues right now. So I, it's like. It always has. It's real serious no, issues. I'm sure I've heard it's gotten worse, but. That's what I mean. Yeah, we talking about the rich part, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> look. Downtown see? and shit see? like that. Where see? a lot Hot of star. it is. Yeah, exactly. Right there. Yeah, that's, Wait. That's the narrative we put. Yeah. 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 That's you walk right into that shit. You walk right into that shit. That's it. Asshole. We ain't talking about them, nigga. Because people were talking about that shit. I was like, see? Look at your face. Now you was educating me. I bet. <laughs> On what? You always leave me by myself, nigga. I'm not with you. You are. I'm not. Maybe I gotta work harder. Maybe I might get that Smooth sentiment. On. Yeah. It's cool though. <laughs> nah, but yo, back to the All Star game. Uh, my my takeaway, this is really, really like I used to hate on it. I can't even hate on this shit no more. It's a three point league for real. No, like, it is. Bro, it's an all star game. I counted four alley oops. Really? 
in the All Star game. The whole first quarter used to be alley oops. Mm. Yeah, niggas yeah. doing wow. Niggas out there showing off. Like this is when Word. I could get it off. I counted Word. four. Let me tell you something. I could tear my meniscus out this bitch. <laughs> I make three hundred million dollars. I'm shooting that bitch from half court. And that's I'm not they, running. I'm not risking tearing my ACL for them. I'm not doing none of that shit. Yo, that, yo that's got to stop. I, I agree. I'm, stop. I know. I'm nobody, agreeing with nobody you. Nobody has ever injured themselves in the All-Star game. It's never happened. Why do you think everybody don't play the Olympics no more? When Paul George broke his leg, dog, niggas was like, I'm done. Mm. The, you remember how that shit looked? The Olympics and All-Star I'm not disagreeing. Weekend. I agree. I'm, I think you should do it, period. Yeah. Because you owe it to the fans to give them a product, in my opinion. They could they could argue otherwise, say I don't owe the fans shit. I think the fans are what pay your salary and want to come see you play. I think we owe it to the fans. I'm not disagreeing. They got to incentivize look, that shit somehow. Well, not just that. But look, listen, because this is an argument I had with somebody a couple years ago where they were telling me three-pointers are more exciting than dunks. Now. And I was, uh, I'm like, you out your mind. That's true. But to your point, that's what the fans want to see. That's true. They, today, they like to see a nigga pull up. Halliburton went out and hit five out of six three-pointers. He was bugging. He was going and crazy. He hit, he hit five three-pointers in 92 seconds. He was going crazy. Like, every patch is boom. Yeah, and this is what... After. Yeah, but they didn't cheer for Mitch Richmond. It was because a it was, it was a, yeah, a different it time. Was a different league. Bro, I'm just looking at Mitch here. couldn't they, shoot like them. They, they shot a total. Shoot. They he shot God, a total. Look, no, Mitch don't is do Mitch. Don't do that to Mitch. He can't shoot like them. If he was in the league today. fuck with no Mitch. Halliburton can't shoot better than Mitch Richmond. Oh, that I don't know. That's, Mitch was nice. What Mitch was crazy nice. Crazy nice. Bro. Any yeah. version of Warriors Mitch, fucking uh, Kings. Kings, Kings, Kings Mitch. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to Mitch, yo. Mitch is Mitch. Oh. I'm not disrespecting Mitch. But no, I'm just saying, I looked it up. The nigga shot a total of 168 three points. The highest, it's the highest. Um, highest ever. Scoring game like, ever. That's the and, focus. And Adam Silver ran right to his phone. <laughs> and put out a little statement. Get rid of the and, three point line next year. In his lawyer voice, <laughs> which said, just to dispel the thinking that the league is satisfied or or is incentivized to run up scoring, we are not. They ain't what like that we shit. want is a competitive, competitive game. game. And they, that's why they tried to change the model where they would uh, the eight, the, the plan the per quarter or per half. Mm. And so I'm they, glad they stopped that shit. That yeah, shit was whack. All of that, all of that uh, we're drafting two captains. That, was yeah, whack. that whack. shit was whack. Well, they were Super trying whack. to make it because one side was stacked. Yeah. So they were trying to even it out a little bit more. Nigga, one side was stacked this year. Yeah, but they did you just, see that West team? And look yeah, what happened crazy. though. I know. Now that's different. That's different. But on paper, on paper, the West team was the greatest. I was coming team in. I, I was coming in here to write down. Hey, if the Dream Team walk in the gym. And the West All Stars walk in the gym. They get blown the out. The Dream Team's gonna have a hard it's time. A game. It's I was a ready to say that. It's a wouldn't be a game. But wouldn't be a game. But like my dad always says, <laughs> pick the team with the guards on it. <laughs> you live basketball, you live and die with the guards. And the East had a lot of guards. That's what Pop said. He always says that. Really? He says you live and die with a great point guard. Point if guard. you don't have a point guard, point guard you don't have nothing. It's a wrap. True. So the East did have Donovan Mitchell, Halliburton, Jalen Brunson, Trey Young. Like they had the guards. Fam, the East guards are so stacked. Trey didn't even make the team. And you had Dame Lillard. Yeah, and, Dame. and Dame that decided, you know what? I, I enough. Like that. This divorce shit is enough. Been enough. enough on my mind <laughs> at home. See, we, nigga, if I would remember some of this shit, I would fucking bet. Mm -hmm. Dame would, was out there pulling up from fuck you. Like Yo, nothing. you know how it is when oh, yeah, I yeah. can't even say. Yeah. You know you coming in there with the lunchbox, just focused. I'm about to I'm about to do this. Cause who the fuck you thought I was? <laughs> I'll remind you. Let me yeah, just show you. Gotta, yeah. I, I does this right here. Yes. And, and you'll see. Yeah, sometimes you gotta remind them and then doing that, you remind yourself. Just go ahead and do it. That nigga yeah, he's took such a three massage, dribbles, bitch. stopped that half court, and was like, Oh, y'all thought I was Yeah, y'all back there. <laughs> What? He hit that shit over Paul George again. <laughs> <laughs> Paul George is just always around <laughs> when Dame is getting that shot off. Yeah, the All-Star game was cool. I never want to see Luka and the Joker out there again. Ever, ever, ever again. And you know what I did enjoy? I enjoyed seeing Durant, Steph Curry, and LeBron James not give a fuck about Luka Doncic. <laughs> <laughs> that felt good. The niggas don't give a fuck Why about it. they supposed to give a fuck about him? 
I mean, he's leading the league in scoring. <laughs> so? And there's teammate. <laughs> like Camaraderie, maybe? I mean, he's a future face of the league. He maybe. He's got all types of records. The guy is nice. He's Super torched nice. he's torched some of them. I mean, there's that there's that uh welcoming committee. Yo, Joe, you can rap, right? Yes. Think Jay Z feels any type of way when you step in that booth? Yes. I don't. You I think that's why he won't call me in the booth. And you my man. I think that's why he hasn't called me in the booth. Okay. No, no, yeah, nigga. It's me in here. See, that's the thing about me. <laughs> Yo, we not I, going no, off on your we, narcissist. We got it, bro. Wait, but I was giving, see, no, I was giving another an narrative. Example. I was giving an This is not my narcissism. It's when, your doubt. When you're, you're my man. When little baby steps in the booth, Jay-Z don't give a fuck. He don't. No, well, say that then, nigga. Okay. I'll, I'll, take, take, I'll take it off. Say that. <laughs> fuck is you talking about, nigga? <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying? My, that's what I mean. My name was in that tw the tweets. It was. <sighs> see, he didn't have Twitter. My name was in the tweets. Do you remember what? the tweets? What yeah, the tweets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he listed, come on. All, all the people all that, he, people fuck that with, he fuck with. Yeah. Stop playing with me. He said Slaughterhouse yeah. and Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. Mouse. I'm Mouse. You know that. <laughs> I know that. You know I'm Mouse. I ain't never yeah, hear Yeah, moving on. I know. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. How can they fix it? Offering home court advantage in the finals is not going to, that's not, they're not going to do that, and I don't think they should do that. I, I thought that before. You can't but, pay them. Uh, why? You can't pay him? Because you can't pay him. Because they make so much money that the, the pay ain't going to be... You get what I'm saying? And you already had to pay him for the in-season tournament. And that was short. What you paid him there let me know that you don't want to pay him. Mm. So now you're talking about the niggas with the biggest contracts ever. Uh, ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What like are you going to go and LeBron chill. took the took the play in money and, and busted down to the rookies mm -hmm. and the, like they don't give a fuck yeah. about that. Right. Like they move money's it? not making a move. Can they move it? Kind of like how the NFL does the Pro Bowl right before Super Bowl or something. No. What would be the point of moving it? I'm though? just saying, like it's in the middle of the season. Like some people, like I'm not really gonna go out here and do all of this. I still got a season left. Yo, who the fuck? Who the fuck booked Jennifer Hudson? Yeah, for the halftime show. Come on, we telling the truth here today or what? Yeah, no, a lot of people didn't like it. Calvin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you, you, you got, you got, you got. <laughs> Common. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, pander, 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 pander. Go that's ahead. what it was. I think that's what it was. To what? Pander to who? To who? Again, we trying to get the WNBA crowd. We trying to show that we appealing to women. Huh? Huh? To that's not the way to do it. No, they ain't no, no, trying no. to get their crowd. Get them, Mel. Go ahead. I seen your little face get scrunched up. Go ahead. No, I mean, the song I, I like the did, idea. The message that she was. Um, Fuck all that. I'm just saying. I like. I like the idea, but you know, of like pandering to like you know a female base of you know new consumers, but that's not it. She's not it. Oh no! Not I, in that I, I don't moment. think it worked. I'm just saying that could be the reasoning behind it. God bless her. She's do. very talented, but in of course. terrible fit. I that agree. was a bad one. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm with you. That was a bad one. I totally agree. I fuck with Jennifer Hudson, but me too. Amazing. You got winner. I'm here to get lit. Yeah, where, you need a little ice where is G Easy when I need him? <laughs> yeah. Come on. They can't afford ice spice. Can't, can't afford Cardi. Man, where's Tiger? Can't afford ice spice right now. Where's Tiger? Yeah, maybe. The NBA can't afford ice spice. Not for that. They don't want to pay out all this money like that. You crazy? She, she was. I'm in the booth with Taylor Swift. That's very true. A that's week ago, true. it's a, it, but that's still. It's still. My price is up, up now. It's not. A, it's but it's not a terrible look for her. No, that's I, true. So. Nah, no, it's not. So they like, can, it's they a, can afford it. To me, it's a, to, me, yeah. to me, it's a win-win. <laughs> they can't afford. And they they can't afford. And her. I wonder what her price is now. And they would have booked her six months, eight months ago anyway for the event. So, yeah, they could have afforded her back then. Okay. Even if her number is crazy now, they could have afforded her back then. It should have been someone lit. It should have just been a younger person. You 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 go, you are basically gearing the entire event toward a young demo. Yes. Right. From the tech aspect, you got because they mm -hmm. they basically put the camera on Kasanat and said, "Yo, go." Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Do do what you do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We know so what you bring. We, we know, know what you bring. Got. We know who you are. You right him. Here. Do what you do. So with that in line, you don't go get Jennifer Hudson with all her greatness to perform. So who do you get? You could get Ice Spice. You could get one of the younger rappers. Any one of the girls. Yeah. 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 Lotto. It, Lotto. 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 Any one of the girls. Lotto. That's who you go get. You go get Lotto. And not just any one of the girls. But, but you could still go get a young... Yeah. You could have got Dirk in them. You could have got a bunch of different people to come up there and appeal to that demo that you gearing the whole entire event towards. Yeah, if you mm -hmm. get Dirk and acquire kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, Some free tickets for the little, yeah. Come sing. Well, it just should have been. It should have been. Awesome. been her. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Just, I just, respect. It just wasn't lined up with the theme mm-hmm. of the entire event. Yeah, I didn't understand it at all. I agree. Except for no, you could have got some woman shit. For Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> yeah. Speaking, Come on, let's get to Chris. Of, let's get to Chris Brown versus Ruffles. Hmm. So apparently, uh, Chris Brown was invited to be in the celebrity game, mm-hmm. which was Friday. Which, if we don't know nothing else, we could guess that that's probably true. Absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's, he had the jersey he, layout. Yeah, they said and he's an avid basketball mm-hmm. dude. Like, rep, rep that's for what the family. No, that's what he does. But still rep for the family. All right, well, I am. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's there what they do. Like, he a hooper. He a hooper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got that's, old family hoopers. <laughs> Yo, I keep you, man. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> no, that's what he does. So I'm sure he was really looking forward to it for them to snatch that shit at the last minute. It's, it's kind of trash. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... Same with the Michael Jackson yes. tribute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can imagine how many times he just goes through this where we don't know mm-hmm. about it. That's true. Like enough is enough. Like, like I saw a lot of people. I'm not mad at enough is I, enough. I saw a lot of people saying like, uh, oh, well, you know what you did, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I don't think that was his argument. His argument was, yo. How much time has to pass? No, no don't, don't invite me at all. Leave me the fuck yeah. alone. I didn't get that too. Don't call my phone. Don't email me to say, yo, do this. Oh, we want you to do this. All to now turn around and say, oh, uh, never mind. We snatching it back. Just leave me alone. If y'all don't fuck with me, don't fuck with me. I got people that fuck with me. When I go on tour, it does what it does. My tours are great. My fans still fuck with me. That's why he finished with, I'll go where I'm appreciated. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I did love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. Like, I'm going to go where I appreciate it. Y'all can leave me the fuck alone. Y'all don't fuck with me. Cool. Leave stop it at that. Stop wasting my time. Yeah, stop wasting my time. I'm, I'm with you. And you, I mean, not like they might not have to do this, but we invited Chris. So now we're going to get some more sponsorship money. We're going to get some more of this and use my name and then at the last minute kick me out at the back end? Yes, like, what? fuck out of here. Well, no, because I no. think once you announce Chris or invite Chris, then you cut off your your Potential sponsor sponsorship money. Yeah. money? Sponsors start pulling out. Maybe. They, they pull out. Maybe. Like, oh, wait, no. That's what the problem is. That's, what that's, that's what consistently what the problem is. Mm-hmm. Like, the awards. I'm sure that they wanted him to do that Michael Jackson tribute, mm-hmm. the music people. Mm-hmm. But when you get to all of the sponsors that they have on it, somebody there is going to say, hey, Chris Brown, nix it. Same. It only takes one, a whale. That's that's it. The, it only takes but one yo, whale. But that be the bullshit because some of the motherfuckers up there be accused of much worse shit. And this is where I've said this for years. I'm going to say it again. I apologize if it offends anybody. This is where people care more about who the victim was than what happened. I say it if, it, if 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 that wasn't Rihanna and that was Keisha from up the street, we don't have this conversation about it's Chris true. Brown anymore. I agree with it that. It is true. Mm-hmm. A thousand percent. We do not have that and conversation And the crazy about part him. is, she fuck with him. Yes. yes. Right. She long like, that's the girl. They got mad at advanced. her for fucking with yeah. him Yes. Still. What are and you talking it's, about? Lose, lose. Stupid Nothing you can do. People. I saw, uh, I saw, uh, well, I heard um, Suge Knight put his, he's doing a podcast from prison and he was like, how can they give how can they still hold this over Chris Brown's head but give Dr. Dre an impact award considering everything that he's done? And again, it's because of the victim. No, I think I, I think it's and the, I think even back in the day with the Dre shit, um, that was so long ago that social media wasn't as active. Uh, that was that fam, was that was publicized. No. Yeah. yeah, that was publicized. No. He caught flack for it publicly. 30, Twenty something years ago. No, not but not the doc. Yeah, that shit oh, recently yeah. resurfaced. Yeah, gotcha. not too too long ago. But gotcha. again, it came out when all the docs was coming mm-hmm. out. Gotcha. Yeah. So, but again, the person, the victim, just isn't held as high as somebody else. So they they'll let it they'll let it That's go. That's what it is. That's what That's it. Is. it. Yeah. It's fucked up. I wanted to see that Chris Brown or uh, Michael Jackson. Michael, you ain't the only. Mm-hmm. I saw the the, the, the rehearsal. Rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He would have smoked it. They was smoking that shit. Because it wasn't just him. Like, when you do Mike, you got to be in step. Thriller, they wasn't missing a beat. Every person did the same. Like, you know what I mean? Except yeah, the choreography. Guy. I wish he could just do it himself. Gracious. He put it out. No, I mean, do an actual performance somewhere and just do it himself. So, okay, so did so, Russell, did Ruffles make a statement? Yes, they okay. did. Let me read all of this. Chris okay. Brown says... I was asked by the NBA to play an all-star game this year only for them to call later and say they couldn't do it because of their sponsors like Ruffles. At this point, I'm sick of people bothering me and I'm tired of living in the fucking past, right? 
Uh, he said more, but he said I'll post the emails and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Ruffles said, Ruffles, uh, oh no, he's, he said, Chris Brown said, Ruffles sponsored last night's NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. However, we didn't, oh, this is the Ruffles statement. Ruffles sponsored last night's NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. However, we did not have any involvement in nor visibility to any player decisions or celebrity invite discussions. That was Ruffles' official statement. Uh, Chris Brown then replied to that and said, I have no reason to lie. Y'all know I don't clout ch- uh, chase clout. The only reason they responded is because of all the Team Breezy fans flooding their shit. Mm-hmm. Stop mm-hmm. fucking playing with me. See how fake this shit is? Cowards. Y'all know damn well I ain't lying because I never be on this type of time. Mm-hmm. These bitches. Ruffles trying to save face. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Thousand percent. And so. he continued, at Ruffles, I guess y'all trying to save face now. Stand on business. Don't try to make it look like I'm tripping. You and the NBA representatives know exactly what y'all are doing. There you have it. I agree. I agree. That's just a yeah. bad lie by Ruffles, though. But, yeah. but now you look at it like, oh, shit. Because, you know, the, the, the what's his hive? These hives calls them team will reason. start going crazy. Uh-huh. Now you're looking at potential revenue that y'all can now miss out. So now we got to put out a statement to 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 refute. Yeah, what so he said. we had nothing to do with yeah. this. Uh, or you could not say shit. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. But a blatant that even if that's the truth, it don't come off like the truth mm-hmm. at all. We do know that, that they wanted Chris as, Brown to play that comes in the celebrity as, he game. That come the, off as it, damage control on it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me just... Bro, he had on. the invite. He posted the invite. He, fo- the email, he posted the conversation. The jerseys, telling yes. him what he would mm-hmm. be wearing, all everything. That. He posted mm-hmm. all that. Yo, we'll have our crew set up your transportation, make sure you're safe, that, that, that. Like, he had all the particulars. Mm. You got to go there and drop 40 now next year. I got you. Yeah, you got to no, do that. Chris, do that for Virginia, yo. I got that. For Saint. Yeah. <laughs> Tap him. Do it for Lil Saint. Got to do it for Lil Saint now. Stupid, yo. Oh, shit. Um, all right, time to tell the beautiful people about prize picks. Little yeah. Prize picks. Gang, gang, gang. You know what time it is. The number one daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. Really easy to play. Ice has been playing hockey. <laughs> I'm trying to find something to play. Yeah. Well, hockey been playing me, really. But. <laughs> Yeah, playing hockey is wild. Get, nah, yeah, it's, it's, it's whipped by the sticks. <laughs> Black his team off, yo. Oh, <laughs> and <man>. add. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but yeah, man. I, I've been I yeah, smoked, yo. Smoked. Yeah. No, it's, it starts to be um, a little obsessive once basketball has been gone for the last week. Mm. It seems like forever. Dog, okay. dog, I didn't know. I saw, I usually play NBA second half. I tried to play NHL 2P. I didn't know that meant second period. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, it's three periods? Oh, no wonder none of my boys hit. All right, well, oh, prize picks is, <laughs> is really easy to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really it's great easy. to play. It shouldn't take up too much time. All you have to do is select two or more players, look at their projected stat line, and pick more or less for your chance to win up to 25 times your money or with the demon play up to 99 times your money. Don't forget to use promo code JBP. And good luck to all of you out there. Indeed. Yes, sir. Now. Answer me. Mm-hmm. We were talking about getting getting our summer bodies in shape. Mm-hmm. Well, true. really, Ish was talking it about was it. Him. No, it he was, was saying he was going to lose the weight and go to the All-Star game and drop 40 on him. And he was, you he know was, he said that every year that he's been on this pod. I don't know. That is a lofty goal. Fault, so bro. then you go to the fridge and you pull out a, a, a old half-eaten Twix. <laughs> Look how you got to put your Joe Budden spin on it. Yo, you make me No, sick. that was accurate. It, it was half-eaten. How many Twix come in the Half pack? was gone. Four. How many was in the bag? Two. That's half. That's half. half. No, nigga. When you start talking person. about the Twix, like somebody bit off the, the, the Ish. cookie bar. Went ball. in there and pulled out an old half, half of eaten. Twix. Yeah. <laughs> Peek you your head out the fridge. Peek, it, wasn't it wasn't him. Oh, shit. He peeked his head from the side talking about, yo, y'all know who this belongs to. <laughs> we all said no. He didn't care. Commenced to eating it. No, no, no. Joe said, man, that shit old. I'm going to throw it out. No, you not, nigga. <laughs> throw, throw you out with the Twix. <laughs> the right told me he was going to throw the Twix. Twix. He told his friend of 20 years he's going to throw me out over <laughs> a <laughs> half-eaten Twix. I'm not even worth a new Twix. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mean 
need you need help and discipline. I just, discipline. Saying, yeah. I, just right. I have to tell you, I, I concur. That behavior is a little crackish. I agree. And then want to sit down and drink tea for hours, <laughs> nigga. Bad honey in the tea. Bad honey. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's you are oxymoron yeah. like I never. You like a kid. No, no, for no, real. No, you don't have my, to be a slave like, to sugar like that. <laughs> He's hooked. I cut down on red meat. I lost weight. Six. Oh. I was at two thirty three. I cut down on that too. Milk. Ish. I don't even. I'm not a milk guy. Uh, yeah, we You're have. Nice we now. have You're to nice stop now. this. This I'm thing. Not. This thing that we Me. got. We got to stop. No. I I'm, have cut down on all of those. Just where you at now? Things. You said you was at two thirty three. Where you at now? 220. That's nice. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. 13 is nice. I'm at 220. Clap that up. 13 is nice. When niggas like, y'all lost seven pounds, I'll be like, man, shut up. You gave that back tonight. When you get 13, 10. I that, ain't going to lie. That little quick go get sick. Woo. That'll help. That'll help. That'll help. Ooh. The sick night. That go get sick and lay in bed. Coughing. You get the I abs the coughing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, then you step on the scale while you're dying and see that beautiful number. You never want to see it go back. Nah, you're right. That's true. I can't see it go back to motivation now. now. Yeah, nah. Now you got to keep it nah, off. Nah, that sugar be a different animal. I ain't going to hold you. Like, like. Ish. That shit different. Put the fucking used Twix away, man. Yo, that was some, it's some, your fault, yo. He still don't Everything know who is my Twix fault. it was. That's, that's the funniest Everything shit. is my fault. That's no, my fault. We got to eat on schedule, yo. Oh, yeah, because you said... <laughs> yeah, eat on schedule. Schedule. Wait, say that bullshit you said over there. Yeah. Let the fans hear how crazy you are. Say it. What I said? You said we need a lunch hour, right? Yeah. Say it. <laughs> All right. Expound. Yo, because we be in here snacking. All we do is snack. Nigga, go to the, the chip drawer and eat. Two bags of Cheetos because you got to get back on mic. I can't get my salmon and broccoli. You know what I mean? I can't get my... my <laughs> he, need cra he need craft services. Yeah, I need sea bags. <laughs> he want craft sea services. Bags. <laughs> like Chilean you know sea bags. I can't order it. You got to Uber Eats. Why you can't, why you can't order sea cold. bags? If you order it at the time that we, we have don't been take break, break. We, we don't break take the same time after, for three years. No, we don't. Ice, we don't take breaks? We yeah, do. not at the same time. Roughly. Ish. We take a rough break. Come on, Ish, stop. All right, it's okay. I'm starting to see Get in your bag. Just get in your bag. Right, right, right. Uh, excuses or results. <laughs> you've, been, you've been home. You up here. You work with your you've man. Been, uh, you've been well home. paid. Mad Ish hoodies. You can eat a sea bass <laughs> if you want to eat a sea bass. Nigga. <laughs> hey, what, what's somebody going to do? Fire you? To tell you hey, what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, eat your sea bass. Right. Yeah, right. We'll see. Eat your sea bass. <laughs> Spinach. Summer's coming. No, yes. Summer, it, yeah, and it's coming fast. Tomorrow, right? fast. So, it's coming fast. Once you get out of January, it's, January it's, it's, it's took two here. months, and now Man, it's March. In New York mm -hmm. now, in November, the summer's coming. We don't get no fucking cold weather. Uh, <laughs> no, it's been, it's been, it's been cold, cold as shit. It's fucking it cold not as been fuck. Cold. I don't it's think it's been cold. It has not been cold. We had a good week and a half of cold weather. I'm talking about that good. I'm talking about New York City cold under 20. It ain't been under 20, but once. A week and a half. We had like that. Cold weather for like a week. It been 35, 40 degrees the whole winter, damn near. Listen, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know you don't want to hang out with me current day. <laughs> I heard our little friendship pod that we did. I get it. You niggas is busy, then y'all busy and cool. This is just what it is. But we can be workout partners. We can go to that little, uh, what's that shit right there? Iron Culture. Iron Culture. Who could go there? Me and you. No, we can't. Why well, I can't Why? go there? You got it. Wait, it's you a gym, know. right? Yeah. It's more than a gym. Why? You be, oh, Wait, you been you there, but I never been there. Shit out of me. Hold on. What, you been there, what out, it's a good gym You know that song when it be like, tag team, back again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you think you'd be Splash Brothers in the gym? <laughs> Bro, that gym is different. I'm good. You got it, though. Salute. But don't they be in every gym? They do. A little bit. Yeah, but some of them are different. You think they're going to be in there at 6 It's a night. It's a nice nigga on every team in the NBA. You saying they're going to be in there like 5, 6 a.m.? That, yeah. that would be the time to go. Mm -hmm. so they got to go to work. be up at that time. I know. They, they do too. Go, they got to go to work. They be up at that time. They go get it in. No, they just came in from the spot. I'm going to go in there one morning. Oh, oh. they be in there. You talking I'm going to go in there one morning. Mm -hmm. That's what he talking I'm about. I'm talking about the professionals. I oh. want you to understand the community that this gym is in. And then voila. <laughs> they in there. Speaking of voila, uh... uh <laughs> Ice, I saw your little AI girl that got you. <laughs> and that's the same AI girl that's running around getting everybody. Oh, that little video one? That's the girl that got me. That was the first AI girl that got me. This shit is crazy, bro. The one with the video? Well, you nah, say, what, what, you, uh, what you mean, though? Because you think it's a person. You was liking? 
Because when you like a motherfucker, you go, uh. You said the fire emoji in the DMs? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and the Reddit boys say that you didn't unfollow when you said you unfollow. Yes, I did. I'm just telling you what the Reddit is. As long as I saw that shit was AI, I was like, oh no, unfollow. But you probably already had 77 likes on Not that 77, shit. Not 77, maybe like a nice but little. But you'll fuck that little cartoon, seven. bitch, right? <laughs> right in the middle. Right in the headset. <laughs> <laughs> we here now, man. We're not you far. Fee -fee. Listen, we're not no. far from it. Yeah. No. You have ladies to, better get y'all act together. What they gonna do? Huh? Yeah. Haptics, do? haptics are coming. I'll Once take this bot. Here, it's over. I'll yeah. take this bot shit to the next level. Act right in that kitchen. Haptics. <laughs> Once haptics come, it's over, though. What the hell is that? Haptics is what allow you, it, it simulates it, touch. touch. Yeah. It's like so, when the. So, so, like with your phone, there's no buttons on the phone. The, when the Arnold Schwarzenegger shit. What was that movie from back in the day? The Terminator. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Minority Report. Last Action Number Hero. <laughs> well, he still won't tell us the movie. I can't think of it. I thought my movie buff friends would tell me the movie. I know which movie you're talking about, but I can't remember. It's got Total Vanessa Williams. Total, there Total we go. Recall. Thank you. Oh, okay. Three tits. That's all yes. I remember about that movie. Three titties. <laughs> oh, listen to these hornies. Once these bots know how to make some Only rasta fair. pasta, you bitches is nah, finished. What? <laughs> haptics. Once haptics comes, That's only it. fans is done. No, it ain't. Hell no, it's, it's up. You crazy, it's, it's up. Uh, yeah. Why? Because now, nigga, you can watch the video with her, and while she doing this, you feel it? Yeah. Niggas are going to pay for that. Uh, nigga, crazy? I could go uh, fuck Jasmine. <laughs> no, no, I, oh, I know shit. what haptic means. Uh, no, no, clearly, get your shit off. <laughs> I can go fuck Jasmine Cashmere. Look, I don't got to go to the little... He got the beta haptics. <laughs> 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 he got the first okay, round of the haptic in the house. Let's test that out. Don't Let you me worry. go get the haptic out the closet we'll right quick. Put the yeah. haptic on real quick. Learn. Learn. Yo, when niggas get that haptics for Big Mel... Yo, your name, image, and likeness is going to be on your haptics. You might be up there. Mm. Oh, I need your haptic rights. Haptic pimping, yo. Nah, I need your haptic, haptic pimpin', rights. Yo. Come on, we out here. Word. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. You want the ass a little, all right, make it a little fatter. Nigga, um, yo. Come on, what else? What else? Uh, That's crazy. What else is near and dear to our hearts and souls? Um, Did, did y'all uh, watch the Vince Staples show? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Episode. Yes. Well, I see the last All of them? I didn't see all of them. I didn't see all of them. Okay. Yes, yet. I've seen all of them. What episode, what episode are you on? at? I, uh, just, I just saw the first one. Yeah. But go ahead. I thought you supported Wait, no, 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 our friends. friends. No, I. I do. Is it I a coincidence do. that the two? <laughs> yeah, is so it a coincidence? Cool. No, it's not a coincidence. Can I just get it well, out yes, first? It's can a I land? No, you okay. can't land. Please. No, Shit. stay in the air, nigga. No. Ice, can I land? <laughs> <laughs> he is it a coincidence that the, it. that the two mixed people here? <laughs> The two mixed race people didn't see I'm it. I'm not mixed race. <laughs> yeah, but so? No, but, you know. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> when Yo. she mixed race, you mixed race. <laughs> Yo, what, do, what does mixed race got to do with the Vince show? Pro-black, nigga. Because it's a black show by, finally by a black person. That finally I like, by that a black I like person. That I like. That's more the reason to watch I it. like and revere. I want to talk about the secret messaging in this show. Okay. Okay. That's what I want to talk about. Did you like the show? Yes. I did too. I absolutely love the show. Uh, and I think I think a big part of that, well, it's a great show, mm -hmm. and I know Vince. Right. So if you know him, it's very funny. And you watch this show, like Vince tell you all the time, his mom is a different mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like he's told you about the characters in his life mm -hmm. and his very different train of thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Yo, he's sad. He Based on in. his experiences yeah, yeah. And, and what he grew up on. Yeah, exactly. So he talks about that often. So to see it from episode one to five is just, I thought it was real good. And again, I always come in here and talk about there's a narrative out there that I don't support black shows. There is, right? And my response to that is always the black shows that they give us are through white psychology have to go through white approvals, white boards, right? There's only a handful of people that, of black people in Hollywood that just gets you greenlit, mm -hmm. right? That's so true. that is mm -hmm. what my normal beef is with some of the black shows. I'm sitting there and, and I'm watching, and when you're watching a black show, and I felt this with Vince too, like when I've started watching the Vince show, mm -hmm. I could almost hear the screen calling me a nigga. Like, nigga shit. <laughs> Snigger shit time. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, oh, I relate to this because. Oh. You've been to jail, they like, sang Pump It Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and yes, Parks, Mr. One Line King, but that's the other reason I enjoy it. It's because whether you know Vince Staples or not, 
whether you're familiar with it's him or not, resonate with you. the show is from his perspective, but the environment is the star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And because I'm similar, like, mad times you maybe knew Joe Budden or didn't know Joe Budden, but when you like semi pseudo famous a little bit, it's like all those times in the show where somebody was like, who the fuck is that? Oh, that's Ben <laughs> Staples. Who the fuck is Ben Staples? Yeah. Uh, like those moments mm-hmm. are like real moments. So back to the secret messages in the show. What did chicken mean? In the, uh, in the, in the when the he went park episode, yeah. When he went to when he went, yeah, the theme park episode, which is probably my favorite episode. That's my the one I got the, the much to talk about, okay. uh, the most to talk to say about. But when he went to get some chicken, mm-hmm. and I think that was a nod to school days, right? The black guy behind the counter saying, what kind of chicken do you want? Uh, white or dark? Uh, dark. dark. We ain't got dark. Ain't got yeah. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what the fuck you asked me for? <laughs> then, right? So he leaves the chicken spot. He can't get chicken from his man. The line is out the door. He can't get chicken from our black people. He goes outside in the alleyway. There's an Asian dude. Right? It wasn't the Asian yeah, yeah. dude? Yeah, yeah, he was. And the Asian dude in the alley give him the secret path to the chicken. The bootleg chicken. Yeah. Wait, you can go over there, go through the tunnel, red door. Yeah, follow the see. yellow brick road, yeah. door, side, tunnel. And then he goes, and that's a white dude in there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With pimples. Mm-hmm. It's always a white dude with pimples that'll change your life. They got the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> huh? This podcast ain't even a podcast without a white dude with pimples. <laughs> 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 I don't sleep on white dudes with pimples. So the white dude with pimples is in there and he's quiet. He's a mute. He don't talk. So Vince put the order in and all right, where I get my chicken? Nigga, get out. I'll call, I'll call you, you when, it's when the chicken is ready. Mm-hmm. Right? So he goes and I'm going to talk about what happens when he goes. But then he gets the call and he comes back and the white guy just keeps pointing the signs. He's to t- t- signs on the counter. About pricing, and he's charging them extra for the sauces. For the sauces. He's charging them, and you got to do it. No where else are you going to get mm-hmm. the chicken from? What is the secret messaging in this? It's something there. I'm going to watch it. I, 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 ain't, I ain't even. I'm going to watch it today. Look at it that deep. You fucked me up. That is deep. It's it 100% is. Is something there. It is. Now, wait, right? He leaves the chicken spot. He leaves the chicken spot. <laughs> Go on about your day. And this was probably my favorite secret messaging in the whole shit. The amusement park episode. I want to say it's episode three. Yeah, it's the same it's, Yeah. As a nigga, he is in the theme park and identifies a threat. The mascot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yo, that mascot, what's up with that nigga? You tell his girl, hey, baby. Yeah, in the very beginning. The yo. fuck is up with this nigga? He's staring at He's him. looking at me. What do the girl do? The same thing that girls always do. Set you up. Hey, nigga, you bugger. Call him over here Come for here. a picture. Come here for a picture. So now the mascot is over there right next, taking yeah. the picture. And while Vince is ice grilling and they're having to the stare off, <laughs> the girl is just focused on taking pictures with the kids. She don't even see all of this threat shit going on. I'm sitting there like, ain't that how it always go? It is. Yeah. Ain't that how it <laughs> always go? They set you right God, up. God, God damn it. They bring the threat right over. So now... It's, we got beef in the theme park. We up, we up. No, we got beef in the theme park. I know that this mascot nigga is staring at me a certain way. So now Vince detours. And he got beef. Mascot chasing him. Now he's cornering him. him. He got all of he his got mascot his, he friends. Uh-huh. Yo, he went and got all of his liar. mascot yeah. friends. And now they about to fuck Vince up. That's funny, son. So Vince is having the hardest day. This whole show is about Vince the whole show is about Vince having the toughest few days ever mm-hmm. and the girl, or the women in his life never knowing. Word. The girlfriend never knows. Adding to it. The sister never mm-hmm. knows. Yeah, nobody ever knows. So the girl is just in the theme park with the kids. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> he getting yeah. his ass beat that's by mascots. <laughs> Who are the mascots? What is the symbol? There's symbolism here there. because I know Vince. And this is not just mascots are beating me up. No, no, no. The mascots represent um, life, something. Nigga. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. The family reunion episode I loved. I loved yeah, that episode. That was, that was absolutely cool. loved the family reunion How you episode. The bank. The bank was fire. The bank might have been the best one. That was episode two. The bank is dead presidents. Yeah. I also like his nod to some black yeah. shit. Yeah, he did. The bank part was uh, that was amazing, but great. 
Great. I, I used to like the bank episode. The a, lot, a lot of people. A lot of people did. The bank episode was just because it was nonstop laughter and comedy. A lot of the episodes, like you said, is messaging in there. It's, it's not, you're not laughing from scene one to the end. Like, oh, that, that was, was the bank. way to other message. Wait, in the bank. Couldn't get the loan. This was the yeah. one that yeah. fucked me up, and I still can't figure it out. When he went to go wherever he went, and the black guy was mopping. And Upset, Vin, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Vince old, is, old and Vince is saying to him, Yo, you ain't got to do this. Hey, this brother, is, you ain't got to mop no more. They robbing the bank. We out. Freedom. And the guy says, no, Mr. Such and Such says to mop. Mm-hmm. Mr. Such and Such bought this bank and this this year, and then his family bought the bank, and then they did this. Da, 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 da. So if they say mop, then I'm staying right here to mop. I was like, oh no, nah, Vince is going crazy. I gotta watch it. I yeah, said, nah, Vince is going, but he's doing this in a comedy. In this a comedian, is like all this comedian. is like Hood Abbott Elementary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's doing all of this weaving in what is supposed to be a comedy. Him knowing the bank robbers. That shit was yeah. great. <laughs> them inviting him. Even the first scene where he tried to get the, when he walks into the spot. He knew, he knew and the he tell, bank He walked oh, yeah. into the spot. The, the receptionist was like, yo, bathroom for customers only. <laughs> Nigga, I'm trying to get a loan. Mm-hmm. She That's gets like, on the phone and calls upstairs and they just bust out laughing. Why he's standing right there, bust out laughing. Yeah, yeah, go ahead upstairs. Yeah. So he will, he go upstairs to try to get the loan because he got some cereal. See, look at that. But look, first question, yo. All right, my proposal is this: Do you know the leading cause of death in the black community? The nigga's like guns. He was like, uh, heart, heart, heart disease, sugar, <laughs> sugar and heart disease, sugar. And then Rick Ross is there. Yeah. <laughs> Even that, no, I don't want to bread from you. Yeah. So the bank dude basically said, you ain't getting no loans. Suck you're my rapper. dick. You're a rapper. Uh, these things never recoup. They get expensive. You have your heyday, but when the heyday is over, then what? So get the fuck out of here. But now when the bank robbers come in and these is my niggas, now you need me. Now and my because dick. I'm black and I'm a good guy, I'm going to spare your life. But then he, then he, and oh my God, when they walked out the bank, him mm-hmm. and the white dude, uh-huh. and he tried to spare, he tried to spare him. He did. He tried to don't do that. Yo, I wouldn't, hey, do, that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, hands, I wouldn't do that. I if wouldn't do that. I was you. As soon as he white privilege, shot him, shot him in the head. As soon as he reached, uh, pop, tore his ass up. And he yeah, just, so he just listen. I really enjoyed the show. I think there's a lot of amazing messages show. and secret symbolism inside of it. By by the by the time it got to episode five, I see exactly where he would have taken it mm-hmm. with eight episodes mm-hmm. or ten. Yeah. Ten, yeah, yeah, eight or I ten. Need, I, need another, I, need I also five. could see watching the show some of his. Hurdles that he may have had to face, you can see even <coughs> distributing with this. the people. But that comes from yes. like that. that comes gotcha. from knowing and talking to Vince. And he came in. You and know told how us. he give it up. He came like in. He, told us. You know where he's standing and how he views certain shit. So you you know him getting the show. He going he going to go. You said would have. So he got to curve it back a little bit. Like they're not going to let you go like that. Yeah. So you said would have. It's been canceled already. No. 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 It was just a limited he's order of five episodes. five episodes, and he wants to do more. So. He wants everybody to basically get on the network's ass to have him do some more shows. Support it. He's looking for support. Mm-hmm. So yeah. number, numbers mm-hmm. got a numbers got a show. Support. Hit the double thumbs And that's why what, what you were saying yeah. about um, you hate black shows being viewed through white lenses, lenses. but the way that we still got to support them shows because now yes. once they get up high enough, now they can possibly do what they want to do. Because if we don't, they no, stay right. under the white but lens. That, but that starts with giving black people the opportunity to showcase black shit. But, but in cool, that, but right, if, if Bill, I'm sorry. Because no, no, then we could get into the, hey, run it up. Bill Cosby never gets an opportunity to do the spinoff to a different world without that level of success. You get what I'm saying? Once he exhibited a level of success, then they said, okay, cool. You could take yeah. the reins and bring your black ideas to the screen because they've been so successful. You've shown that you're, 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 you are you could generate money I'll give us. you more trust. So I'll now we'll trust. let you go I'll a little bit further. Trust. If we shit on yeah. the black show... In its inception, from the beginning, they never gonna, they get, never gonna get any higher to be able to do nothing else. Yeah, I agree with that. So we, I, I think we have to support the black show, even, even if it's through the, the white lens contract. right now. But then, who say if we don't make this show a success, then the next show that they get now they can really do it the way that they want to, and it needs to be done. Oh, I didn't. I don't feel like that at all. Y'all can shove that Jamie Foxx movie far up somebody's ass. Which, that one that I came in here and talked about. Uh, they call it Tyrone. Yeah, yeah I come on. I, I wasn't Please. a fan of that. Please, no, but no. I, but I listen. Movie, but I'm just saying, even if it was successful, we watched it, we supported it. Now, whoever wrote that movie might get an opportunity to express their real vision without the white interference on the next one like look I give dude you know I give dude hell all the time um, uh, Jordan yeah, Peele Jordan Peele but if Get Out was not a success 
he don't get them other movies. Sure. And he started going in them other movies. That's true. He did. He started really mm-hmm. saying, doing, saying and doing some shit in the movies. But if, if Get Out was not a success, we don't get that. I agree with that. Yo, Vince Uncle saying, why are we black? <laughs> When at the family that's reunion, the when the whole family was fighting, and yo, just, yo that fight was crazy. Because what are y'all fighting about? The mom the whole time is about to shoot somebody. Mom over mac and cheese. Over, over, the mac and cheese. Cheese. over the mac and cheese. See, but that's a real issue that's in black, black in black community. That is some black shit. Where you asked up, two up. people to make the mac and cheese? No, no, no. There was a group chat, and I wasn't in it. Yes. That's where it started. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. So y'all did all this behind my back. Who made the mac and cheese? And, and that she was her kinda, And she kind of bonded with the the, the, with girlfriend, the girlfriend over yeah. over the o- over, over the, the beef. Yeah, She's like, I like that. Well, you 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 got my. Back. I could really, really, really only imagine Vince writing these episodes from his perspective. What? Uh, and these white people read that shit like, no, no. That's what jumps off the that, screen is that, his yeah. perspective. Yeah, that happened. He went oh, crazy. No we, no, we can't do that. <laughs> like, yo, no, we I can only imagine. I can only bit. imagine, yo. We I can only imagine. Yeah. Based on the black cookouts, based on the black experience. Again, he's a successful kid. Guy. He's going to the bank. Really might that might have happened to him. I don't his interpretation that of that. I don't is now I don't know. Sure yeah. that a lot no, of I'm just saying. Like, so that's fire. That is fire. And he's <laughs> creative. So he could put a spin on it. He a writer. He a rap. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's amazing. I'm gonna go watch all the four of them today. Oh, and then when he was in jail <laughs> and the dude was making the song. <laughs> no. And they was doing that for you? Huh? They just, you know sure. they could just start for making sure. a beat out of well, nowhere. <laughs> I, I don't rap, nigga. Nah. Yeah, I don't mean they couldn't bust a little. Nah, bust a little man, you, yo, yo, I got bars. Stay right here and listen to my bars. You was like, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you listen to that's what bars. I did. <laughs> nigga, nigga said you said. I okay. just want y'all to see how he paints. Yeah. He said you said okay, son. Look, you, you ain't do that. No. All right. Got you. Got you. Okay. Salutations. <laughs> Crazy shit is last time you got locked up. Locked up, I think I took your laces, man. Who laces? I think That's I what they took your to you? phone when they came oh. and locked you up in front of. I came over there like, come on, man, give me your stuff. We got to we got to even up the friendship. You hear him? We got to even up the friendship. I was just looking at you like you crazy for making up a story. I ain't making up no story. What are you talking about? When you took my through? laces. No, nigga. I, I went over there. I walked said, over to you and said, huh? You couldn't walk nowhere, nigga. Stay still. Stand still. Stand still. Them sheriffs wasn't letting you walk nowhere. He I walked over to you. He everybody. What that mean? They had still, his shit in his hand they already. Still came he and was like, yo, hold my shit. Yo. Man, that, <laughs> man, thank man, you, I, on, thank you on, Ice. Dog. I seen the niggas flying up the street. Like, I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah. He was like, oh, yo, I thought they would have been faster than that. I said, the fuck? I could have got away if I was 30. Here you go. I would have booked Without the sugar. No, 30 with the sugar. the sugar. That's the energy. What do you weigh right now? 247. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he look no, really like <laughs> yeah, you know, you know Corey's our resident health department. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the nurse's office. <laughs> 247. Oh, shit. Drew 57. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not even five minutes later, look how he paints me. <laughs> I'm not leaving it. I'm not leaving it. Ever since our friendship part. Yeah. Any excuse to do that, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Six <crazy>. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is crazy. Yo. I ain't gonna lie. This is obnoxious. Yes. The so ring? what? The ring? The whole shit is obnoxious. Yeah. Yo, it's an ensemble. <laughs> the ring is obnoxious. It's an ensemble. So what? Be obnoxious. <laughs> See, thank you. Somebody else is with. I'm with all that shit, especially coming from him. That's why I like it. Only because it's Joe, because of his stance on jury for so long. True. That's why I like it. Uh, you only live once. I had to work. Yolo. Hmm? I had to work. With, we all had to work. Hard. So, and you work. <laughs> All right, dog. Look, hey, right. look. See, see. What's, what? what's wrong, Master? We broke. <laughs> oh shit, Master. Yo, yeah, yo. Corey, you're your man. Look, look, yo, look yo, Corey. We had to work hard. Part we did have to work hard <laughs> for me to get my three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> you got it, dog. See, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, see. Speaking of Don't try to text later. Dr. Bus would never. <laughs> oh. <laughs> magic. We family. <laughs> we family, Magic. Yeah, man, you got oh, it. Man. I mean, it's cool. You got it, Cat Daddy. Can I get a hoodie? For sure. <laughs> What's the what size? You got you down 15. I don't know what size. Still 2X, nigga. I'm from the slums. From the slums, nigga. Go back. I don't. <laughs> 
See? Go back. <laughs> I'm gonna get you today. You gotta recognize later, where I'm gonna get you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, right, what what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Nah, we want to talk about the air trumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not letting we, 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 we have, have to talk to, about yeah. the air trumps. Yeah. I'm sorry. You got them? No. Said it's sold out. <laughs> I don't doubt that. You see how many mm. motherfuckers at the White House? January 6th. <laughs> 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 they gonna have 77 pairs of them shit. I, I think he way more than that. with some air trump show. I will not. I was gonna say to our resident sneakerhead, what do you think of them? Who? Me? You? I'm a sneakerhead. Who's our resident sneakerhead? I'm nice. definitely not a sneakerhead. Oh. There's only one person in here I, I would expect, not expect, but I wouldn't be surprised if they came in with some air trumps. Please tell. Oh. <laughs> Dish. <laughs> if I came in with some air trumps? Nigga, if I came in with some air trumps, I'd give y'all permission to throw me in the Hudson River. You fucking crazy. I'm just saying. Have man. you seen them, though? Yeah, I've seen that bullshit. Okay. Do you like them? The design? Yeah. They kind of match this outfit you got on. <laughs> <laughs> it really make it pop. You could have got yeah, that off. Yeah, gold joint. You could have got that off. Yeah, right. With the wings. A little popping yeah, color. Right. Stupid ass sneakers. Mm. Yeah. I think the air trump is hilarious. That, is, that, that shit is, is hilarious. hilarious. It's disgusting, but. Disgusting. I think it's even more hilarious that he, should, he showed up at Sneaker Con. <laughs> Without a booth? <laughs> Nothing. No permission. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he went yeah, to Sneaker Con. He went to Sneaker Con. That's what they dropped. Pedal his sneakers. Yeah. That's what they dropped. And so where did he pedal them since he couldn't get in? Like, did p- parking lot? I don't he know. He didn't need to. He just had to be there. Show up. Yeah. Yo, Trump y'all outside see the- selling CDs is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> did y'all see Biden with the black flam- family? <laughs> eating chicken? At the table eating chicken? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what kind of chicken? <laughs> White meat or dark meat? <laughs> <laughs> It's all a joke, yo. You fucking me up, yo. I don't even want to get in a bad mood. <laughs> what? That's what won it for him last time. That nigga went right to Roscoe's, and it was a wrap. And they love that shit. You better get some shoes. Fam, he straight told y'all, if you don't vote for him, you're not black. Stupid yeah, He told Charlamagne that shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> fucking dodo. <laughs> Sitting around me eating some chicken with the black family. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <laughs> No, Yo, for real, dude. Remember, oh, and, and then he fucking... ordered that verse from fucking DNA and Clips. Oh, he did. Oh, shit. <laughs> he did. Yo, Biden's gonna, dro- Biden's gonna drop Tim's. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> he got a one up. He got a one up. It's coming. He got a one up. They're gonna have the red, white, and blue on the cushion. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> going around. On nah, he's gonna, he gonna put the flag where the Fuck. Tim tree is. Yeah. That's it. That's funny. So. You on you niggas now. Yeah, you right. Put the wrong tree on that bitch. <laughs> where do you get the air trump? On Yo, his website. We're not giving him no platform oh, to sell his shit. Well, the white How girl, you know? The white girl is. Well, because oh, duh. Oh, wait. I ain't know Trump had a website. Cut. Of course he does. Oh. That's where, now, he collect, that's where he collects donations. Donations. If the Reddit as niggas well. find old clips of you on uh, what's that nigga show, Apprentice? <laughs> no, you they did never Apprentice. Will. No, I did not. <laughs> we got to ask with Mel. No, I didn't. She's she fucking, did a lot of shit. She, she's Prolific. well traveled. Mm. Mm-hmm. Prolific, mm-hmm. but L- no, I didn't loquacious. do that. Loquacious, add that too. <laughs> <laughs> they won't find that. Yo, that's crazy. So no. if you, you rock them? No. If he came up here and gave us an ad for three mil? No, three mil? Hell no. You shouldn't be. Pa- pardon me for being a Trump. Poor. Pardon me for being a poor. <laughs> Is there a number? Is there a number? That nigga screwed his face huh? up at the is three there, Is there a number? Is there a no. number that you can rock the air trumps? No. Okay. No, okay. there is not. Your integrity would prevent you from doing that. Mad shit. I, listen, I'm, I've proven myself. Mad yeah. shit is not for sale with me. Yeah, man. I'll just ask <laughs> I, I stand in it. Okay. Hey, yo. <laughs> yes, Antoine? Never mind. Friend? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe you. I didn't say that. He's saying that maybe he should be for sale. <laughs> I'm not saying that for the air trump. You know I ain't with So that. what you saying? Not for the air trump. For the what? Nigga, when everyday struggle tried to get me to wear some fucking little Air Force One there, got some money from Nike, but oh, I fucked that whole plan up. <laughs> I fucked that. That was the last. Well, Reeboks? <laughs> no, some hey. Nike, we came, we came in and they was like, uh, hey, if you don't mind, and Nike's dropping this, uh, can the host wear them? Me acting the desk. So you know, Ag put it on. Hey man, I like this. It's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the desk gets work for the company, so she ain't gonna beef them. She put them on. I can hear Joe now. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, he's just not good. <laughs> he could love the shoe. <laughs> he, nigga, I went knocked on that little side door. It's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my check gonna look different. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's when I learned about some of the funny verbiage in the contract. Mm. Like, hey, if we do an integration, we'll give you extra $5. If we do an ad, he'll give you extra $20. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'll fucking get this. <laughs> I'll flush this whole Nike down the toilet, nigga. It won't be nobody with. But you know what? I did wear that Nike one time for him. I did wear it one really? time. Team yeah, player. Trying to show good faith. You got, listen, I'm going to show good faith. Sometimes what you, you got to show good faith. Do. So but, do. And not for nothing, that Nike or that particular experience went on to make you better. Well, no, and it gave me all the information. I got yeah. so got much the, information yeah. from mm -hmm. Complex and how they were doing ads. I know. The same shit we seen. I did, just did uh, the Mellow uh, podcast, and Mero was on there talking about some of the ad problems that he went through at Vice mm -hmm. with, like, them niggas had an ad deal to put Timberlands on the doll in the corner. Oh, wow. He wasn't getting a piece of nothing. Like, they'll play that. The ad games, you got to figure out. You're going to have to figure mm. them out. But we'll talk about that later when we toss to our experts. Mm. Actually, you know what you're doing? Yeah, we're we, we, we here now. Yeah, we're we here. here now. We're here now. All right. Let me go get that Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gibbs drops something? Let me get that Freddy. Mm. Nah, Mercury. Mercury. Uh, oh, Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Freddy, Mercury, man. Under pressure. Know. That one? No, 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 uh, not that little slap. Uh, we <laughs> are the, 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 the champions. Yeah, that's that's we are champions. Mm -hmm. doom, 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 I'm, I'm not mad at you. Oh, oh, that one. This one. Now, nah, hold up, man. Let me cut it off, man. This one hurts. This one hurts. Hurts what? Because you're kind of biting the dust. Yeah, nigga. I want them to go on for life. <laughs> <laughs> I never wanted I never wanted to see that. You shitting me? I was crying a little gut thug tear when I seen that news. Like, is it real? So, uh, yeah, no, this one hurts. Sometimes it's tough to come in here and do your job as a podcaster, man. Today is one of those days for me. Uh, I never wanted to report on something like this. I was actually uh, conflicted with whether I should even play another one bites the dust, but I got to do it just because I got to do it. But... Uh, uh. Mandy, Bridget, I love y'all, but y'all not above getting this Freddie Mercury. I'm sorry. See, the thing is, the podcast announced they are no longer on Insta Live, and they put out a little statement, both of them. All right. <clears throat> um, Ish, Mel. Take it away. Ish as the only person here that has done I'm not. the podcast. Well, good. Then you do it. I worked on the show. You really? Oh shit! I Ice, Ice did it too. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Oh. Damn. Okay. And you worked on the show. I did. Don't come out. We caught. <laughs> All right. So to see the yeah. thing is, couch. see the thing is, um, <laughs> no, nah, it's unfortunate. But it is. They, they are. Do you want to uh, read the statement? Extended um, friends. You read it. And maybe family from us. Mm, I read. One. They um, read. are closing up shop, and they are no longer. Um. Again, I think it's unfortunate. I think even for you, outside of the jokes, like, yo, you were pivotal in that show happening. So if you, if they had a 10-year run. I didn't want to see them go down. That they had a 10-year run, that's a testament to you, too. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I and, think that and they, 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 they ran. They, yeah, they, it was a good they, show. They ran for a few years. They I did. did. I, see, mm -hmm. I think so. Um, Y'all you know how I think. Like, I don't be happy if nobody shit topple over. Mm -hmm. Like, that ain't, especially somebody that I... I'm cool with or that I'm friends with. I don't think that that's fly, but I think they 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 did a good thing, especially for women in the space. For sure. Um, and I think they were successful. Just you know, the 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 landscape in podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed. Yeah, it's changed. It's changed. And so it's they, gotten a little bit more treacherous. Hmm? I think it's hard. I think I think I think that it's a misconception about podcasting that you could just cut on some mics and talk, mm -hmm. and that's a really really big misconception out here that. Um, everybody not funny. You could be the smartest motherfucker in the world and you could cut these cameras on and not resonate to nobody because you're not compelling, you're not funny, you're not um, pulling them into your content. Mm -hmm. And I like, think they did resonate with people. No, I'm not saying them. No, 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 no. Them the yeah. homies. I'm not yeah. saying them. I'm just saying I think that... Um, and so, look at me. The the networks was giving out money. Yeah. And not necessarily re recouping that money. Not saying that that's what happened with them. I just think overall, based on the success that Joe had, based on the success success that some of the earlier podcasters had, especially during COVID, mm -hmm. they were just throwing money at that shit. And they not they wasn't necessarily recouping that money back. So I think a lot to there's gonna be some more doom dooms coming soon. 
Listen, mm-hmm. I'm on record. I'm well documented saying that I I think the well the big boom is over. Mm-hmm. That old podcast wave mm-hmm. of Bubble. everybody ben. getting the biggest bag in the world ben over. is over, and I think we're gonna see quite a few pods, you know, succumb. I agree. But shout to them. Um, congrats to their amazing run that they had. They had a great run. Um, yeah, I hit the round and, of applause. And, and yeah, they did. Uh, great things to come. Yeah, I'm sure that both of them have some some big plans ahead of them. When are y'all going to read the... Uh, I was looking for it. I was about to read it. Yeah, while y'all find it, listen, man, it's just... With, with all the money being essentially gone, there's only but so many places for people to move and shake. And there's a lot of these companies that are ad companies that are bringing you on to see what your audience can do for that specific model. And if your audience is not helpful to them, right? Cause it's not enough to resonate. Like whatever you got to do to get an audience and resonate with them, that's on you, but that's mm-hmm. totally separate from the business of podcasting. So if we hit the button on these ads and one and one is not equal in two, then it's going to be tough to sustain. It's going to be, there's a lot of podcasts with business models that don't seem sustainable long term, right? This thing started as a low overhead thing where you could get a mic and a camera and become very profitable. Mm-hmm. But as it grew, you know, niggas got staff, sets, productions, productions, post, post yeah. socials. Right. And if you are incurring those costs on your own, then I can see how that begins to get difficult. Mm -hmm. Some of the people that was chase checking, uh, check chasing. Right. At some point. At some point, you just knew what it was going to be. I mean, I don't I don't want to if I keep talking, I'm going to have to talk in code and I don't want to do that with y'all. But. I, don't, I, don't I never wanted to be in that position. Like, I know a lot of people didn't really understand a lot of what I was saying around that Spotify time, but I don't want to be in a position where every two to three years I'm convincing a staff of my value. My worth. Mm-hmm. And my worth. I don't even trust depending on the market mm-hmm. and where it will be in three years to say that y'all are going to continue to invest in podcasting the way that you've been. If you look around, most of the companies have closed their podcast department. Mm -hmm. Most of the companies have stopped spending. Most of the people that was around for that big bang shit have moved on and they either they're somewhere else or they home counting the money that they made. Most of the companies that got in it strictly to make podcasts are gone. Are gone gone. or been been gobbled up by uh, iHeart or some other conglomerate. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to watch how podcasters move currently and moving forward. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of them will just say, fuck it, it's not worth it. It's, yeah. it's not worth That's it. True. The hassle I, and the headache. I think it's outside of podcasting, man. It's it's all of these tech companies. Everybody. People streaming. Um, just everybody that was giving out big bags right around the pandemic. It's all dried up. We talked about mm-hmm. URL and caffeine before. We talked about like everybody that was getting it, they they got what these companies took what they needed from you, which mm-hmm. was your audience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we got your audience. We've gotten them to subscribe to our platforms. And now we can we have a full number that we can go to advertisers and do XYZ with. We kind of don't need y'all no more mm-hmm. to keep running these numbers up like that. Got you. That's what it's looked like. It's just going on all the way across the board. Any type of tech anything media that, yeah, tech yeah. media that, that mm-hmm. involves a camera. True. It's unfortunate. But somebody got a statement? I do. <clears throat> After an incredible journey filled with laughter, tears, and unforgettable moments, we are sad to announce that See the Thing Is podcast will be coming to an end. Over the past three years, we have shared stories, insights, and discussions that have touched the hearts of our listeners in ways that we couldn't have imagined. As the creators, we have made the difficult decision to bring this chapter to a close as we pursue new opportunities and navigate career different, creative differences. Pardon me. 
Like the end of a beloved. Hold on, let's sprinkle some silence right there. Rewind <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> rewind. Let me hit a ten second rewind as on that one. The, as, <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Oh man. Let's <laughs> just a little last line. What you say? As we pursue new opportunities and navigate creative differences. Uh, let's unpack that. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of science here. <laughs> I know it can be tough to pursue new opportunities mm-hmm. while mm-hmm. navigating. Whilst. Let's, create, let's, let's spice that up. Whilst. 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 Navigating creative differences. So when I read that, when I, when I hear that, I wonder, are, do they plan on pursuing something together again? It doesn't sound like it at all. Or from that. are they going their separate ways? I won't lie. A part of me thought when I when this first came out that they was just fucking do, pulling the one eighty six to get from under the Joe Budden seven twenty contract. Mm. <laughs> you, had, you had him in the seven twenty. No, I'm joking. Oh. I was asking. I didn't know. You <laughs> said it. I was asking. Come to dinner with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come Yo, to dinner dog. with me. <laughs> you said it. I just said come to dinner. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. We're on the whole left side of the bar. We get them again. <laughs> we get them again. Huh? Fuck they thought. Yeah, oh, you got man. me in trouble, yo. How? You know what I mean? Talking that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what's the trouble? It's all right, bro. No, tell me. I want to know. Everything I said was true. That's yo. the problem. <laughs> I went in there for Everybody in your life should know it's true. Who don't know me and you can't clear the whole left side? What's, what's the mystery? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is the... Uh, you, you got it, bro. Bro, it was about, about six birthday parties in there this last weekend. Uh-huh. You was Glad y'all wasn't there. Birthday cake? You was giving out cake? No, no, no. Cake. I was on a date. A lot of cake? I was coming. I was there. on a date. I was coming with my ring. My girl was so happy I had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> my girl couldn't have been. Cough, happier. nigga. Cough, nigga. Oh, nigga we ain't got this oh, shit. Oh, my nigga, girl, yeah. nigga hitting the hookah like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a water and a snifter. Uh, <laughs> this guy's a fool, son. Oh, There's something wrong with your brain, yo. Uh, would you like me to continue? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 my, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Uh, like the end of a beloved series, we believe it's essential to conclude at a point that honors the essence of what we made our po- of what made our podcast special. We are immensely grateful to our dedicated listeners and supporters who've been with us every step of the way. Your enthusiasm, feedback, and engagement have meant the world to us. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for and being we're a never part doing this again. of this incredible journey. No. <laughs> Yo, y'all support has meant so much that we are never, ever <laughs> releasing again. We have creative differences, and we're going to pursue other opportunities. So all of this shit that we build here with you beautiful, loving fans, it's over. It's over. Thank you once again oh, for your sorry. unwavering support. Here's to new beginnings it didn't matter. and endless possibilities. Oh. Mandy B. And your your Kelly. unwavering support mattered none in the grand scheme. <laughs> we wavered. And we did. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Yo. Uh, we, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm we, sorry. We, we wavered. Come on. Let's have some fun. <laughs> nah, they like, just follow me to the next one. That's all it means. Oh, man. See, the end. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully. I don't, I don't know if it's yeah. the end. I don't know if it's Follow the end. To the next we we got to see. We got to see what's They're going gonna on. They're going to go on and do yeah, great things. Good luck to those guys. Whether it's together Ladies. or not. Mm-hmm. They're both very talented and hardworking. How is that for diplomacy? No, it's true. Mandy gets to it. Mel, I can mm-hmm. tell you want to fire Bridget shot. Bridget gets to it. She, she no! I can, tell, I can tell. Just so you're clear, the, our audience is not dumb, and we go all tell that ne- you want to Neither are your co-hosts. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> dumb here. I know Mandy. I know Mandy said the little six mic shit oh, when, y'all, when you shit. first She's got brought on. Yeah, come on. You know how women are. Women don't forget yeah, shit. Yeah, so true. your whole posture, your tone, all of it. Come on, just get it. Just get it out. Get it out. I do not want to fire shots, especially when there's an announcement about the demise of a beloved show. Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, she good. Hey, hey, Erickson. I want to try the gym. Of <laughs> I want to try the gym. Which, which camera? Yo, what's the gym? No, her face when she when she jammed. Which camera? Camera. Give me a jam. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she, you gotta look at her. You gotta look at her. Like. 
Look at her gym. <laughs> She's got a good gym. Oh, no, her gym is way better. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Mel. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, rest so, in peace to what? the show. What? To the oh. show. <laughs> it's crazy. To the show. My God. <laughs> they'll be all right. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be great. Yeah, they're going to be fine. Yeah. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at the me. The gym? That's what we call it? Gym from the office. I, I never watched You look at the camera and makes funny faces. Wait. You've never watched You've the never office, seen period? the office? Never. Like not an episode? I've seen some clips. <laughs> Yo, I'm with you, E. We don't Yo, know our friends. What the fuck is wrong with this I'm man? I'm so with you. I would have de- I ain't had that on the bingo board. But why? Too you busy didn't working, think it was right? Funny? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Basically, you are missing out, my friend. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't my thing. Have you ever watched an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm? <laughs> yeah, ain't that okay. um, maybe like uh, that's what she said. That's what he said, right? That's the office. That's yeah. the office. Yeah. All right. So he basically you think that's all it is? Yeah. I don't know. No, I, oh. I'm just saying. I heard, it was, you, I heard you it, should. it was amazing. You should. It's amazing. Yeah. I haven't watched a bunch of shows that people thought were fire. I haven't watched The Office. <laughs> I haven't watched Super Bad. I mean, what's the one that you said they were selling drugs? The, the Wire? The wi- <laughs> no, the white, the white people. The whites. <laughs> Ozark? Breaking Bad. Ozark? Breaking Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking okay. Bad. I never watched that. Ozark. Breaking Bad. I watch Ozark. Okay. I never watched Breaking Bad. I never watched The Office. Somehow me and my dad the other day ended up in a really heated argument over Seinfeld. What was the argument? What was your stance and his stance? I think I'm a rock with your father. Of course you will, you old niggas. Uh, Go ahead. (laughs) Like my dad recently just calls with like a quick random pop culture question, but it's really a test. <laughs> see, if, see if my son got some balls or not. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. So he calls and says something like, I never watched Seinfeld. I don't, I don't get it. I don't like it. Don't like it. Ain't into it. Don't Neither. see why everybody else is into Neither. it. All that oh. whitey white, white, extra white, wiggity, wiggity white shit. <laughs> So I it's thought not, I so I thought I had him. It's not friends. So I thought I had him because I don't think it's friends. It's I don't think it's friends, friends either. So I respond to him and say, "Well, Dad, for me, it's a lot less about race and more about New just York. a New York experience." Yeah. Yeah. To which Dad says, "Which New York?" Mm. True, yeah. true. Yeah. And he won. <laughs> Tap out. Yeah, you got he, it. He wins. Slow down. He says, which New York, right? I say, uh, 79th. White New York. (laughs) Upper East Side. Upper East Side. Pretty white. 61st. Pretty white. Yeah. 80. I always said the West Side. And then he says. No, it's Upper East, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the West Side. Yes. Oh, okay. It's not the West Side. And then he says, yeah, that's white New York. See, and this is where we have a little bit of a divide and difference of opinion. Because I think, and I understand what he's saying, so it's not a beef, but this black, it's not just whites over there no more. Still overwhelmingly. I understand, which is why I just, overwhelmingly which is why I just, white. I just hung up on him. <laughs> I, just, I just, I know what time it is. I just hung up because I see where you're going, but yeah, I, I, never, I never got it. Really? I, I never got I think a lot of the down. situations are not really. Particularly about race or class, really. It's They're about not, like uh, going to the restaurant and having to it's wait. It's like going to the shit, dry like, cleaner. It's going to the fucking yeah, it's deli. Like forgetting your parking spot. Yeah, when you yeah. Park beefing at the mall. with yeah, beefing with someone over a parking spot. Like, it's, yo, I I never I ain't even talking about the racial aspect. It just, wasn't funny. I just to me didn't like see the fun. Like, and again, I, I would like, accept that from Ish if he saw the office. But I but I love Fra- Frazier's one in my tops, which is confusing because you're yeah. Frazier. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't like Frazier either. That's why. Yeah, you, you like Wait, why, Curb, is that, right? why is that confusing like to you? No, that he Frazier's likes Frazier and he doesn't Frazier's like the other two? Great. Cause Frazier, Frazier is similar, like no? stuffy white as hell. No, Frazier is 10 times better than Seinfeld. But Frazier, Frazier is pretentious white. Yeah. But that's what makes it so fucking funny, though. Like, is Frazier the, is, is the pretentiousness. The writing, is so fucking all of that. It's Frazier. Frazier is a brilliant. good show, but it's not Seinfeld. Not even close. You like Curb, right? I like Curb. I like Everybody Loves Raymond. I like, it ain't the whiteness for me. Huh. Obviously. I like everybody. <laughs> Obviously. Has your girl ever seen The Office? I don't know. 
Because that would be did. odd. She probably Yeah, did. that would be odd my girl if it's is both that type. of y'all. No, my girl is that type, like the office uh. type. So, yeah, she probably said I feel that. like your girl yeah, has a responsibility to make you watch some stuff. No, like, I have the responsibility to make her watch some stuff. And vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah, and vice versa. It could lie on her side, too. If you never saw The Office and she did, then it's vice versa. Mm-hmm. All right. If she never seen... Roots. <laughs> I'm joking, but no. But you I, wouldn't expect your girl to have seen the roots, right? That's that's where my job comes in. But I would expect I'm you joking. to have seen I'm playing, the office. But no, I, I. It just never. You know what I mean? It didn't grab me. The office is some of the greatest television in our, people, lives, in, our, in, our, in our lives. And it people is. love it, yo. As people love it. Oh. And um and um, what's that shit? Bad, bad, bad. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, but that. Shit, I think Modern Family is in this conversation. What? Absolutely. <laughs> Modern Family is fire. Right, fire. My white side is coming out, and I'm all black. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, it's cool. yeah it's just, it's Latin culture. I didn't see that one really either. Yeah. Well, Modern well, Family. Oh, you should watch Modern, Modern Family. family. You gotta watch Modern you gotta Family. You gotta check it out. Yeah. I've seen a few. All my shows is on right fa- now anyway. Modern yo, Family. Is it ain't do. Like, yo. Issue, yo. If I watch. <laughs> Did you watch Shameless? That's I've seen, I seen a couple episodes. No, everybody loves Raymond. They it's not, just not a TV they person. They don't have no money. That's it's clear. just not a TV Clearly. person. No, that's but what it's it is. certain shows. We're naming work. the greatest shows ever. And it's not certain up. shows. We're naming great. Nigga, Frasier, everybody loves Raymond. Those it's are, not in the <laughs> You're bugging. And you from the, you naming, for you from the 90s again. You got to update. That might be. You got to update your TV trying, list. I was trying to get some money. If bro, you just pull down on the thing. Did you get it? Refreshes. I'm trying. Well, I feel like they just rebooted <laughs> Frasier too. So. They did. See, they, yeah. They never on my side. They never on my side. <laughs> Yo, you, you, uh, you hear your man? Go ahead. Ha ha at that, nigga. Do oh, 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 your ha ha at that. <laughs> Corey's not on the show. I mean, Corey ain't on my side. He on the show when, when, oh, when you got a point. Oh, he's always on your side. <laughs> Thank you, Ice. I think Corey's yo, fair. Yo, Ice. I, you don't think Corey's fair? Fair what? No. <laughs> What's fair? Man? I'm gonna just answer. No. <laughs> a fair way? F- uh, fair what? Oh, I think you're fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually the benefit, the yeah. recipient yeah, of the, the, uh, of the, pr- the, the, yeah. the yeah. That. Privilege white and all of that. White people thought the court was fair back in the cr- Jim Crow too. <laughs> what are you talking about? I nigga? think Corey's pretty objective. I, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Speaking of courts, oh, man. we have. Even more incredible shit happening in the YSL trial. Bro, every every oh, time I think shit. every time I think like, all right, this is the wildest shit I could hear uh-huh. coming from a trial. Then just, something else. They come happens. right back. Ah, right, no, 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 We're not done yet. Yeah, We're yeah. not done. Not even close. Mm. Dog. The, Tell the people. One of the lawyers for uh one of the people that's on trial in the YSL Rico got arrested for a drug and gang charge of, of her own. Mm-hmm. They done found Shorty Instagram. She's a white girl, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, she's a white oh, girl. Yeah. She, she could have been on Frazier. <laughs> she could have been on The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name, the girl? I got to find it. Y'all can talk. Short, shorty, shorty, the lawyer girl, little white lawyer Rico girl, is defending one of them dudes. Mm-hmm. Right? In defense, in, in defense of him, learns that a nigga that's free has something in his phone that may jam up her client that she is defending. So what does she do? You guessed it, like a crooked little white white attorney <laughs> would. She calls the dude that's on the street, tells him some bullshit. Hey, hey, oh, she says, uh, the cop's about to nab you. It's a warrant. You got to get rid of the phone. He gets rid of the phone. That helps her client. So bing bong, we got you because you can't do none of that shit. <laughs> her name is Nicole Feagan. Let me ask you, though. How do they know that she did these things? The nigga who she called Rabbit? Um, they have her dead to right, so I'm, I'm sure not saying that they should. How? I'm sure how they, how did they, they find know out? that she did those? I, things. I think they may have did an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're defending would, a Rico, they might be Ricoing you. Yeah. I, would guess, be, I would guess ooh, that the guy they're watching everyone ratted yeah. in order to he might have you know, ratted. but he was on the street. Yeah, they might have had a phone already tapped up. But, but anyway, her Instagram was completely wild. Her Instagram yeah. was like, I was she watching. She had stitches her. get stitches on. <laughs> I, I was watching like fucking. Yeah, but where's the cat? <laughs> I'm asking. Snitches do get stitches. Man, she she in the car time. like stop. I don't want to see my my Drop. lawyer. <laughs> don't yeah, she, yeah, she, she in the she car wild. Wild insane. Word. What was she doing that was wild? Happy Blacks and three more. <laughs> <laughs> she did looks. 
sick. I'm sick. Singing the lyrics and all Bruh, that shit. Come on. I'm crying though because you know how many hip hop entertainment fucking lawyers be on they on some bullshit. She still don't have Max Lawyer. Oh, lawyer beat. I was just yo, you took the words out of my mouth. She just we, we, we saw Max we, Lawyer. We say it too much up here, so yeah, we can leave it we can alone. We leave it alone, bro. But she ain't beat that. She ain't got Max B Lawyer beat. At all. She, she was a mess. She, she, she was a, a mess. white girl in the car. Doing the running man while she driving. <laughs> what are we talking about, my nigga? And she had the gangster lyrics playing while she was beating Come cases. On, Come on, dog. She's talking about so one of my favorite things is when somebody see me and say, ain't, ain't you such and such? Yeah, you don't remember, but you freed me from a drug charge. Like the, if she The funniest oh, shit is they, they said that this white lady is her mom. Put something on it. I sell ice in the winter. I sell fire in hell. I am a hot dog baby. I sell water to a well. I was born to get kicked. I was born to switch states. Nah, they said that's really her mom. No, like, not a joke. Never dictate. Ain't no way. It's not her mom. Face this shit straight. Fuck all this is Big J. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ever. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck oh, off. Look man. at the ish wet oh, dream. No, that's not <laughs> a white girl singing some hoes. No. Oh, <laughs> old mean, white lady singing. Oh, oh, man. I'm at my mom's house unplugging all this shit. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't watch the office neither. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. They called her Saul Goodwoman, man. Oh, yo, that's shit. Stupid, yo. That's nah, crazy. Man. Yo, when is this uh, YSL trial supposed to be over? 2027. <laughs> shit keeps happening. Yeah. This is a mess. Like all jokes aside, if you're a juror, how do you not find just a hung jury? Like this yeah, is a mess. This is a mess. I, I know. I know. Gunner watching. Like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess. Yeah. Why but are they trying to get Gunner to perform instead of Jennifer Hudson? No. Who signed off? Common. <laughs> yeah, Common got to be stopped. Probably. Man. That make a lot of sense. Common got to be stopped. <laughs> That's my man. Bro. And got yeah. a nice bag too. Probably. Oh yeah. Big check. Yeah. Oh, shit. big big check. Did y'all see? Um, I gave him a little pump it up for that. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you gave a lot of pump it up I for that. Nigga. I gave him a little pump it up and some NBA. Mm. Gotta do NBA. Gotta do an All Star game. Give him a little dun, burst. Dun, 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 little, dun, little burst dun, some dun, NBA. Dun. Little Marcus Houston. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Change the <beat. laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> we can do a replay. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, oh man. shit! I want to have that Tiffany Reed talk. Okay. What we'll happened? All right. Tiffany. The writer. The oh, writer. the writer. The, the writer. writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I they, do want to have that talk. Y'all want to have it now? Y'all want to have it later? We could. It don't have to be a long talk. It don't have All right, to we be. can have it then. Yeah, let's have it. Let's have it. Okay. <sighs> I, I'm going to play some of the video. It, it was a long video. It was like 15 it's minutes. It's a 15-minute yeah, video, video. But you get the gist of what she's saying in the beginning of it. Almost every record that I have done, I have written when the artist was not in the room. Okay, that's fast. I'll go through my own songs. Let's do it. Replay. Mm -hmm. Zendaya got 10% of the publishing, I think. She did not write on the song. She did it. That song was written at a Rihanna song camp. Zendaya It was Zendaya. on hold for Rihanna. Then it was on hold for Rita Ora. Oof. Famous came to me and said, yo, Tiff, there's this artist named Zendaya. We should cut replay on her. Zendaya is the one you feel like she could have stood her so, ground, but that's Zendaya still Zendaya. Zendaya got published in a writer credit. She, she did not write on She wasn't replay. then. She was. Yeah, she, she was. was. She was Disney. She's TV. King by She's TV Tamar Zendaya. Braxton. I wrote and produced that song. Oh, I wrote that song Tamar for myself Braxton. as an artist. Uh, in my living room. In my living room. <laughs> that don't matter, baby. Tamar got, I don't know. I don't know what she ended up getting. I think I own like 85% of that song. But I should own all of it because I did all of it. Uh, she didn't write shit. Uh, Seven Streeter, who's a songwriter. I love this just, really be, just being honest. Seven Streeter, I love this just song. being honest. Love that Me song. Me and Monsoor did that song. It was originally called Bitch. I wrote that song by myself. I'm not even really a big co-writer like that. I prefer writing songs by myself because I don't know. I just prefer to write like that. So I have a lot of records that I have placed that either have one co-writer on or that I've written solo. Double, what her beef is, right? I'll turn this down while she keeps talking because it is long. I won't cut it off. What her beef is, is that she is writing songs by herself and she does not have 100% publishing of the songs that she wrote. Yeah. Stars usually take some type of percentage, 10%. Okay. 
five percent. Is that like a stand, an industry standard kind of thing, or just this is where the beef is based on? This is where the beef is based on what yeah. she was saying. Is yo, I'm writing these songs. Mm -hmm. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. I get I'm not it. in the studio with the star. I'm not nowhere around. She even goes on to say that one of the songs that she placed, I think it was the Beyonce joint, she wrote six years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That wasn't right. her. That was her people. But Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Somebody that wrote Same on thing. Renaissance album wrote the song six years ago. Mm -hmm. Got it. And Beyonce got a nice piece of the writing credit for the song. Mm -hmm. So I get both and sides. I think that was only 15% too. I don't, she, I don't know one of them, but she said um, she she named a few on Renaissance. But her her thing is, yo, I'm doing all the work and I'm having to split the credit. Okay. So I think I know what Joe's brain is gonna go is, yo, when when an artist of that magnitude, you get a placement with an artist of that magnitude, mm. you got to give up something to now go on in history and say, yo, I wrote this, I wrote that, I wrote this, I wrote that for these people. Now your price is probably crazy because those songs are some of the most recognizable songs in the world. Mm -hmm. you, had to, you had to basically crawl to get to that level. I kind of feel, I mean, I, I agree with that. The, the that problem a lot of songwriters look, have, go ahead, you, sir. You could write all of these songs in your living room and if nobody hear them, they stay in your living room. True. And you own 100% of that. True. 100% of zero is zero. It's zero all day. So if you get in... You started off, same thing with production, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, until you could say, yo, I produced this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. Now my price per beat is 250 mm -hmm. Right. Whereas if you was keeping 100%, giving your shit to the local niggas, you would still be getting 15 grand a beat. But when it comes to like prolific songwriters like Diane Warren or, I don't know, Sia or whatever, because of the because of their like their history and their reputation, do they get to keep like let's just say they wrote a song in its entirety? Is it written as just them as the solo writer? Just because of depends that? on depends depends if they get a Beyonce record, probably not. And let me ask a question, y'all y'all are musicians. If if I'm an artist and you write a song for me mm -hmm. and I go and add something to it, something small, you get a co-writer credit. I'm gonna put a credit on it. No. You should. So I think that's the, probably where it originated. How much honestly. of the song has to be altered to to um, logistically, you know, or legally put nothing co-writer? Not a word. Nothing. And that's her point. She's yeah, saying nothing. some of these songs I wrote entirely. I produced some of them entirely. And somebody is getting a credit on some shit that they didn't touch. That's her mm -hmm. gripe. But them putting their name on it is touching it. No, it's not touching the creative piece. I understand. I'm not talking about the creative piece. I'm just saying, me putting my name on it don't mean you wrote it and don't mean you produced it. It, it does if I'm going to sing it. That's you, what they're saying. There you go. That's what they're saying. I get if both songs. I'm going to sing this song, you're going to pay me to sing I'm it. I'm getting something. Something. Mm -hmm. something. It's foul, but. I don't even think it's foul. I don't think it's necessarily I don't, I don't really foul. Think it's I, just, I think it's just the bumps and the bruises that come along as you climb up the ladder. When you get to the ladder and maybe you're at a Neo level or a. a, a Diane Warren. John T. Austin level. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking my shit. I'm Dream. I wrote this. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to get my shit. But I'm sure they got their asses whipped on their climb as well. I think still to this day, depending on where depending you land on the what shit. Artist, you're right. They're still going to sure. end up giving a piece. I'm sure. So I, th I just think I think it's just a part of the game. I think that um, the diplomacy, the bad part is now she done came forward. She might have fucked herself. Nah, I don't, yeah, think, so. I don't think so. Yeah, she's, if she's, you wanted she's them, wanted you them. wanted them. She's wanted them. All right. If you yeah. wanted them, you wanted them. And yeah. every songwriter, I think that is a career songwriter and not an artist songwriter, has had the same gripe publicly. Had the so, same beef. John T. Austin actually addressed this because somebody asked him about it. And he said, a huge artist with the reach to put my song all around the world can have a piece. That's not to say that B doesn't write because she does. But the smarter business acumen says that 85% of a billion streams is better than 100% of 20,000 streams. Mm -hmm. There you go. Without question. There you go. Without so I, I think yeah, we like like what I'm saying about the young lady is there are plenty of artists out there that will let her keep 100 percent of her publishing. Mm -hmm. There may be a much newer artist. Mm -hmm. It might be somebody who is not in the greatest standing with the label. Some of these artists come with the button is getting pushed on this song. Mm -hmm. It don't matter if you write the song, they write the song. This one is getting pushed, mm -hmm. and that's worth something. It's worth you. something. It should be. Like when I heard her, when I listened to the whole video, but as she started getting into her splits, she's like, I only got 85% of this. And um, Tamar, well, that one I think is real good. But then this other one, I only got 85. I'm like, yo, you, you making out like a you bandit. Like, yo, you winning. Mm -hmm. 
for the artist that she's naming. Yeah. She's naming yeah. Seven Streeter, who has written with everybody. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she know all the writing tricks mm-hmm. of the trade. Mm-hmm. Tamar Braxton, another writer. Like you're dealing with people who know all of this. They know the game. So mm-hmm. if I'm a sing it, what are we talking about? Again, I, I think just the, the the opportunity to say Zendaya was I, I Disney love on top, or I wrote whatever come song with a button it come with, it come with a price. I agree with that. Because now your number goes up in the future because you wrote all that shit. That, that that's not necessarily true because a lot of songwriters do not get in advance like a, a fee for for writing a song. They get their publishing, and oh, that's a problem. Really, that's a problem to some to some. Because some people don't that? want an advance because it's really coming out of your money anyway. Yeah, you're paying but, it back. Yeah. She don't sound like she want none of that. Like in the, in the clip, she says, "I do not work. I make my living my whole entire off living of, off of publishing." My part. Right. So I can see how that person is sitting there looking at her statement, saying, "Oh," but she ain't doing too bad, if you're asking me. Oh, probably not. But it, I could, I could, I, I'm, you know, on the business aspect, I think that. It's I'm, cool. I'm just it's, look at it. You can keep your one hundred percent. But no, it. from the creative just, aspect, you, you like yo, dog. Own. You getting twenty five percent of the shit? I wrote this shit seventeen years ago after I broke up with my dude. But the jewel for her, right, is one day. You, you know, mean? I can't speak to her aspirations. One day, you may want to go get your own publishing deal, mm-hmm. and if that day comes, you have all of these hits to say, hey. I did all these. It don't matter what the splits are. That's right. what I'm saying. I did these. And that's where your break, can, your payday can come. Let me just say break. And that's what I was saying. Everybody don't want to do that. It don't sound like she wants to do that. It sounds like she really does understand the fruits of publishing. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's going to get much better than this if you're going to continue look, to work ish. with this caliber of artists. Even that. I wrote this song six years ago, 10 years ago, whatever. You had 100% of it for six years. And it ain't, sitting, and just it sitting ain't, there. It you you got your one hundred percent. You are correct. Now you give up fifteen percent, and look what it's doing now. So let me ask you, what are we talking about? Do they sign off on that and know the splits prior to, or no? It depends. It because depends. she kind of was sounding like she was kind of um, shocked At or split? surprised. Yeah, like sometimes the information comes kind of all at once. Hey, by the way, we're using this, and these yeah. are the splits. Yeah, they might have did this. They might have did the song, but once it came down and I'm picking it, like Park said, yeah. Now we got business to do. Have your people call my people, and it's like this shit right. is coming out next week. By the way, especially in this today's climate, especially in today's saying. climate, it'd be like, oh, this is coming out. By the way, this is what we got for you, yeah. and you can negotiate a little bit, but depending on your standing, but or you can say against wall a little bit, or you can say no and, and that, go home with your song. I was just gonna say, or but you know, you want that song to come out, correct? You know, you want it, or because you can all you always it's yours, so you always got the the. Uh, ability to say, nah, no, thank you. That makes sense. Now you keep your one hundred percent. I was just asking, and a process. nobody hears your song. True. I was asking a process because the way she was sounding, like she didn't really, you know what I mean? She didn't know. I, I do think songwriters are uh, underappreciated, especially in today's climate, where a lot of people don't write really good songs. So the really good ones should be celebrated and should be given some grace. Yeah, I agree. But I don't think giving up five, ten, fifteen, maybe percent. I think much more than that gets a little crazy mm-hmm. for a star. I don't think that's the craziest thing in the world, personally. I Man. would do that gladly to land on a Beyonce project. I'm, I'm about to sure. say, nice. Beyonce or the right artist called, shit. Hold it. <laughs> yeah, take it. Yeah. I'm going to get mine from all the business that come after. That come yeah. from that. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Uh, shout out to the young lady, though. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. And all the songwriters out there. It's tough. It's a tough Yeah, business. shout out to all the songwriters out there. Business. And we need more songwriters, so I think anything that we can do to incentivize them uh, would be good. Yeah, like these songs paying don't people be, for songs. Yeah, these songs don't be songs no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's very few Just actual good trash. songs. I told you, I've been in my Neo bag for like the last two weeks, yo. Yeah. That shit, because he write. Like, he these, songs, these yeah. other niggas mm-hmm. be caca. Y'all let me fuck you on the balcony. I'm like, <laughs> to a beat. <laughs> to a beat. <laughs> He's like, to a beat. Like, yo, okay. I'm right. Oh, you got it, bro. Mm-hmm. Good on you. If, if you were a writer, would you, after, after having this conversation, would you be down to give up some of your parts for a big placement? What? Okay. A thousand percent. All right. Just asking. Yeah. I think until you get to a certain level, you got to crawl before you walk, bro. Everything is a give and take. It's also, even thing. when you're at a certain level, we've seen, um, who was it, Bink complaining about Kanye with the devil in a new dress, giving up some, oh, yeah. some points to Mike Dean, I think it was. And mm-hmm. He was tight about that. He was but, tight about that. <laughs> the game is the game. The game is the game. I didn't really think Bing should have been tight about that, though. 
I didn't think so either. Like, you can hear, but, you can, you can hear the Mike Dean part. Yeah, <laughs> and it does get tricky, though, in certain situations, because Ye, in particular, and a lot of people now will give a million different producers producer credit, and it might be a guy adding a hi-hat, which is really not a writing mm. credit. You know what I mean? It might be someone playing a bass line, which is really not a writing credit, respectfully. So it gets tricky. Hey, Bink, I can hear Mike Dean on Devil. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He played a guitar solo. He wrote something on that song. And that really mm-hmm. adds to the song, that part. Yeah. When they drop the drums out. Yeah. Oh, come on. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. He getting some of that pub. Yeah, he going to get that. Hey, if you, if you do that on my old records, I'll come give you some, <laughs> <laughs> some pub. That shit. Mike Dean, boy. Ah, uh, Benzino. Benzino did Drink Champs. There are a million different ways to approach this segment. <laughs> I watched the entire three hours of this podcast because I was homesick and could not cut it off. I tried. Mm. But every time I went to hit the button, I got that E.T. fingers. <laughs> Just kept pausing. <laughs> I watched all three hours of this shit. And it was such an emotional roller coaster for me, boy. I, I laughed. You too? Huh? For you too? For me. Yeah. I I laughed. I smiled. Almost cried. I got sad. I reflected a little bit. Uh, I don't know if anybody else here saw it. I ain't watching. So I saw clips. I'll just run that. off. I'll just run off at the mouth real quick. I smiled because this is the Benzino. And not just Benzino, but some of the niggas that was moving around back then, like, I want to hear from them. I want to hear from them in that light. And, you know, he, he, he may be the butt of many jokes today for some people, but the truth of the matter is his contribution to hip-hop is large. Very. Uh, no question. I agree. A thousand percent. It, it's large. And... In that little heyday, he was running around here with more money than niggas and more cars with niggas. And more niggas. And he had some niggas, if you know, R- mm-hmm. RSO Benzino mm-hmm. and the Made Men Benzino. Made men. Mm-hmm. So when he sat there, that is the Benzino that sat there to, to speak. It wasn't Corley Ray's dad just yet. Or, or uh, It wasn't Love and Hip Hop Benzino right. yet. It was, and that's why I appreciate Nori and his platform. And we'll get into some of the hate that he got Nori from from publishing this interview as well. But I like that hip hop has a place where, hey, we're going to salute and respect your contributions and the work that you've done no matter where it stands today. I like that part. Um, He got into, you know, he did all of the, he did all of the, uh, Shouting out the different hoods and just different niggas he got money with, the different dope boys, just how he was running around, all the vanity shit he did. Then he got into some of the business of the source, which was interesting mm. for me. Because as a youngin, you know, all we doing is five mics. We just knew it was embedded in culture. Mm-hmm. But as an adult, to hear him talking about some of the, uh, how they had to sell it, how Dave Mays got involved in the source, how Dave Mays came to him, how they went and got the investors, and then it was time to sell. And who did he say? Bob Johnson, I think, offered him $55 million. He said, I walked away. He, he really was in his bag talking about how his heyday and the decisions that he made. He said, I walked away from the $55 million because we owed $30 million. So we owed 30. Me and Dave was going to get 25 to bust down, which makes it 12.5 after taxes. We walk away with X amount of dollars. It's not, it wasn't worth it. So they kept it. He talked about all of the old source stories of niggas coming up there, trying to get in the magazine and niggas having guns up there, yada, yada, yada. He got into that, right? And he took his big swig of alcohol early. He took the big swig early. And I knew it was a big swig because Nori and EFN was like, hey, my brother, it's a a lot of game left. (laughs) 
Hey, it's a lot of show left. <laughs> My brother, you might want to slow it down. But he didn't. Took the big swig, kept talking. Maybe 20 minutes in, he took another really big swig. See, and now that's where I'm big enough the platform because this was like a hip-hop version of the Cat Williams Club's Shay Shay interview. He was up there dropping names, talking shit. Hmm. He called out Paul Pierce. He called out Paul Pierce for ratting on the stand and sending some of his niggas up. I thought that was a real important message that he said. He said, you NBA, NFL athlete niggas come to other dude cities and towns and get disrespectful and start fucking uh, girls that belong to street niggas from the town. He said, Paul Pierce, you did that at a made men release party where you fucked with my man's girl, got aggressive with her. He a street nigga, got nothing to lose. He's from down bottom. He busts his gun. You did that there. Of course he was going to handle you, and you still got on that stand and pointed him out. He said, this dude is doing 20. This dude is doing eight. I paid a buck 50 for the lawyer, so my man who had nothing to do with it could not, could not go down. But that was some fuck shit you did. He, he, so there was a part of that where he started calling niggas out, and that was real shit. I appreciated that. Then he started taking fake swigs of a Henny, <laughs> of a Henny bottle. And we was thanking God for that because he didn't need to drink no more. Mm. And Nori needs some type of cue to somebody in the room or to the whole room that lets everybody know this person shouldn't drink anymore. Because about halfway through the interview, uh, yeah, he was a little nuts. He was screaming out, fuck niggas. He said, fuck Joe Budden a bunch of times. Fuck Joe Budden a bunch of times. Nori, you got the best part in the world, yada, yada, yada. Nori, you handled that like a gentleman and I could hear some of the edits. <laughs> I could hear where you had to edit a little bit. But two hours in, the liquor had totally taken over. And now it was some truth serum time. Mm. So by the end, he really did start to kick some knowledge. He really did start to say some things that would resonate about how we treat each other, uh, how we're viewed. He really was using Eminem as, an, as a symbol. He kept talking about M. And he's got a thing with M that dates back to the source. Yeah. But in a bigger picture, M for him was a symbol of white people in society. And he just got drunk deep at the end. But he was real drunk. Mm -hmm. Like real gone, 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 standing up, crying, walking away almost uncontrollable by the end, everybody that he had said, fuck you two during the interview, he said, I don't have no beef with you. I got nothing but love for you because we need unity and me and this person go back and we need each other because in the bigger picture, we'll never get anywhere because they they stick together and they run the banks mm -hmm. and they run, like he, at the end, there was some substance there if you can get through the liquor, the, the emotions and your, and your sadness in watching this man have this live therapy session on a podcast while pissy drunk. By the end, there was nothing Nori and EFN could do. You had to just let him go, really. Even when they ended the shit, Benzino thought he was going to the bathroom. Three hours later, Benzino, after the whole race, I gotta go pee. They was like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you go piss. <laughs> Camera. Thank you all for coming out. <laughs> Uh, if you find some time, check it out. I'm gonna watch it. Now it, that you it, said it, it will be tough to not. It'll be tough to stop it once it gets started. But uh, Nori's catching some heat from publishing this. Why? Because he looks sloppy drunk. The clips uh, I seen because you're inviting people up there. Drunk. This was this was another MC Shan. This was another Kanye. Okay. This was one of those Kodak. types of interviews. Yeah. So they looking at it like, yo, you inviting people up here, you you are getting them pissy, 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 pissy drunk. Mm -hmm. Like and capturing to where them and the capturing state, them like this and, and putting it out. It's actually exploitation. So you say that the show is to give flowers. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that. I believe that. I believe that. But we wanna we wanna highlight these people and not view them in drunk uncle light. Mm -hmm. I, I, my thing for Benzino is what? We would do the same thing if these niggas went on Club Shay Shay and got pissy, 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 pissy drunk. 
See, they go up there and take a couple swigs and still be kind of classy and cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't go up there, down it back like we do in hip hop, and now they can't control themselves. Right. When people go sit on that show, the mess is coming just because they sitting there to get the mess out. Yeah. 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 On this show, it seemed like they want to get the mess out, but by the time all the liquor is into you, once you're inebriated, it's, it's, it's coming off. Like you different. said, that you know, there's nobody there to monitor the situation. And then at the same time, these are grown ass adults who can make decisions for themselves. So what do you look like? You guys grown don't grown ass adults. I I, 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 I understand that, but it's just like we the ones being the most pain. And I, I don't want to say grown ass adults to negate some of the pain that people are no, walking no, I around. I'm saying I, you can control yourself as an adult, though. I'm you literally, know your limit I'm, what you, I'm literally speaking from the standpoint of actually having done the show and gotten fucking shit faced. Yeah. But my reasons for doing that was like a whole bunch of nerves. But there was a voice inside my head that said, "Yo, Mel, slow the fuck down." But why did you, you listen are, to it? Because I just didn't. I just, I just I think didn't. What happens is a lot of people go to that particular mm-hmm. show. It's drink champs. It's liquor everywhere. Like it's a really it's a part exactly. Of the, it's a it's, it's, it's Miami. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, a dope environment. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Kind of supposed to do. There's nothing wrong with that. having a drink in Miami to Miami people. Right. Right. Mm. No matter what time. There's but having like, a drink and there's getting. But what I. Shit-faced. But what yeah, I. The Willie's open at eleven. But what I see <laughs> from like guys is men don't like to police another man's behavior. That's don't like don't like to say like hey yo my nigga just you you gotta slow down a little bit and it's, niggas don't be receptive to that either. exactly right. so where like, does talking to? where so does nori and efn see like you know the point in which we're like okay like put the cameras down like hey yo you you might want to slow down there's no but, but, uh, but if that's the case and this is no shot to nori but now your responsibility as a journalist comes in and now you got to play the edit game you got to play the cut game People are saying that you shouldn't be showing these people when they are totally fucked up rambling and saying certain things. I remember the, the feedback he got for the Kodak interview. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they were yeah, like, yo, nice. and they were like, yo, dog, you OG in this game and you got Kodak up there and he doesn't seem to be in his right mind. And you are still now giving it to the world to see. Mm-hmm. Edit that shit. And I'm not. This, see, I, what I'm. What I'm. So, so much gonna, editing you could do. I was I'm also. On the other about, side I'm of about that. to say, like, you know, and this is no shots fired to anybody, no, 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 but like me. Kodak had, you know, it wasn't just a. That was not just like a an isolated incident going up on drink champs. He was known to have had or suspected to have had a substance and or alcohol abuse issue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So th- that's a larger conversation. To yeah, even be had when it comes when it comes to Kodak, my, my you know? thing is these are adults. You I, he can't put nothing out that y'all don't give him. So if you don't go on there and allow yourself to get to this state, That's true. he can't put that out. Let, let me say, I think in knowing yo, you go. All right, I'm going to drink champs. I know how I get up there. I'm eat a make, big meal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or yo, I'm gonna pace myself. I'm only gonna do this. Like you gotta set some type of Boundary. you gotta take responsibility and set some type of personal I'm limit fear, to dog. what you do. Yeah. Like, like, no, I bring. I brought my own liquor. It's water in this, but Nori, it looked like a water bottle. It, Nori, looked like, it looked like vodka. Nori literally said, literally said, he was just like, yo, man, like, I hope she's okay, but I mean, that right there is the is is what we want from the show. Mm-hmm. That's that is the end result that yeah. we want from the show. Because I walked outside drunk, the door you start and puked my yeah, guts out in between mm-hmm. two parked cars and then was out for the next, I don't know, 10 hours. I was shocked you went up being an actor like that. I'll be honest with you. Seriously. I was drunk. I was, I was, I know, but you are the person in my brain. Conservative, reserved. Yeah. I am. And control. Until, yeah, Why do you, listen, I don't, I have, I can't watch the episode because I defied all of my, my, my rules. The rules I've set for myself in terms of how I conduct myself, especially in a public forum when it comes to interviews, that was not me. We know. You know, and so I have, I can't watch it because I can't see that version of myself. I can't. It just, it nauseates me. You do get into auntie mode when the drinks come. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, you, do, hey, you do seem like a good time now. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you now. <laughs> when the drinks come out, a little wine. Merlot uh, Melly, yeah, Merlot. I know. Oh shit, I speaking of mess, we're gonna finish this, uh, this uh, Benzino topic, but I forgot to tell y'all, who here is gonna be tasked with getting the real Mandy and Bridget story. Ish. Somebody got to get Ishy. the real tea. Ish. All of that creative, different, all that shit is cool. But 
Somebody got to find out ish. the truth. Either ish or, or flip. Oh, yeah. Flip. I forgot. Flip's not here. Look at y'all. <laughs> Just put it on him. He's not here. Yeah. Flip's Somebody got to get us the truth. Flip's task. But we do all believe that there's more to the story than that, right? Mm-hmm. You can now have to answer. It's just fine. I don't want to put you in a compromising spot. The rest of y'all, the rest of y'all, what y'all think? It's a mess. Is this a mess, dear? I'm Bennett. I think it might be. So, yo, right? I hate seeing Benzino because I'm 48 years old and I remember how them niggas had Boston in the headlock. Way all up before you get some tricks again. Try, no, I'm trying. <laughs> I, got some, uh, no, I'm try. I had a couple more. He tried more. to yeah, skirt more. that yeah, issue. Yeah. But your, your appearance on Drink Champs mm-hmm. is night and day from some of the other shows you've been doing. Like, I'll be seeing, what's the little show? What's the little show you got? Uh, uh, you, black, you black, black, black women speak. Uh, you, yeah. bitch, bitches with voices. Black, black bitches with something to say. <laughs> what, is that what you called it earlier? Black, <laughs> some black bitches with thoughts. <laughs> How dare they? Hey, heifers with opinions. <laughs> right here. Oh, HWA. <laughs> oh, shit. Heifers with attitude. I'm going to let them fucking get at you. I'm going to have massage you right now. Get it all out. Just get it all out. Come on. Oh, Come on with shit. the misogyny. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Right yes. after the show? Yeah. It, it's black black bitches with voices. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to black women. You mean that one? Uh, you mean that show? Unwanted thoughts. Yes, Shout out to right. L'Oreal and Al. No, on on Un- the total production. Thought. That's what you said. Oh, nice. You guys are gonna get skewered. Who asked for these holes? <laughs> Holy What's Christ! The name of that show? Keep it up. Mm. Oh Keep boy! Up. Uh, oh brother, these bitches again. <laughs> oh man! Oh. I'm, I'm giggling because y'all are hey, getting Don't you chip? Yeah, yeah. Don't you chip? Oh, you said you wasn't gonna do don't that. Don't chip us! Oh, don't oh, chip us! We fell for it. Oh, uh, all right, come on. Damn. What happened? Because you know what about the education system in the 70s? What happened, yo? I like, I like uh, show titles better. Talk about class. I, when, you were, when you was talking, it kind of took Bitches me Bitches with voices. <laughs> Thoughts from the kitchen. <laughs> Thoughts, oh, shit. Uh, please, they don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think they cook? Do you think Mel, L'Oreal, and Ebony K? All right. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. shit! I love L'Oreal, by the way. Go ahead, man. Shout out to L'Oreal. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait till Bridget come do that show. <laughs> they better act right. <laughs> you bet. Who on the show? You, L'Oreal, and who? It's L'Oreal and El Barner. Um, yes. Oh, I love El oh, wow. I'm not talking about El Barner. Yeah, yeah. None of this oh, is she's excluded her. from yeah, the yeah, bitches yeah, that yeah, got yeah, opinions. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah. Love her. I like her. No, we okay. absolutely love El Barner. <laughs> for years. Where she been at? For years. I love El. I didn't they're know both, that. You should have started fantastic. with that. Yeah, come yeah. on. I yeah. Fuck then you'd have got some respect. It's <laughs> clear that you guys did not watch it. It's yeah. clear. And it wasn't even that long. Nobody wants to hear. Nobody knows about it. Nobody wants to hear from black women? Hmm. Nobody said that. He didn't say that. Okay, well, nobody wants to hear what? From you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Stop. Stop. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, oh, uh, come on. It's, it's, yeah, come on. In the but, 1950s yeah. is when <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> Billy Brown D. Roosevelt. Education. Oh, Billy D. Rockefeller. <laughs> no, you, you, you was talking about how, um, oh, like, yo, the source was a black, well, is he black? It was black. Or he is Spanish. Uh, he's uh, Zena. He's Puerto Rican and black and gotcha. something else. He's but yo, he's like, nigga, like that was a level yeah, a of nigga. bigger business back then that a lot of us hadn't gotten to. You know what I'm saying? So the challenges and the struggles that they, I never thought about them niggas having to get investors and going mm. to banks asking for money and all of that other shit. Them niggas was at a high, high level back then that now we starting to see that shit come to a, a different level of fruition that... That's to be commended. Them niggas were somebody. Like, no, and I hate to see him on love and hip hop. No, I like. I hate to see him on love and hip hop, and niggas be looking at him like he a goof. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Because Benzino was one of them niggas in in our industry that was, you know, paved the way for a whole bunch of other shit. So sure. it's tough being Bobby Brown. But be Bobby then. You gotta be Bobby now. He, mm-hmm. he talked about just making it out of Boston as a black person mm-hmm. a lot. Like, he kept rapping where he was from. He kept saying, I'm from Four Corners. He was crying saying it. Like, it just, it's tough for Bostonians. It, it, it's, 
He hit a lot of spots, is what I was saying. Yeah, I believe you. That, a, yo, you made me go want, gonna, I'm gonna gonna watch, go watch that shit. No, he hit a lot of spots. He 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 did. He did. I mean. Salute. No, like, he's a hip hop great. For sure. And niggas don't be looking at him like that. You get what I'm saying? Like that's the thing that be disturbing me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a that's a, a a younger hip hop thing. Like once your 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 um run is over or once you're not hot no more, they just treat you like you never was Existed. shit. He got into Corley Ray coming into hip hop, feeling like everybody hates his hates her dad, so mm. she has to kind of side with Eminem publicly anyway. Uh, he talked about how he felt with the whole Corley Ray Busta Rhymes video situation. He just talked about just as a dad, mm -hmm. as a dad having having a child in this thing when you come from this thing. Even if this thing is shunning you now, right? It was just loaded. Mm. It was it was loaded. It was loaded, man. No, nah, I can only imagine. Shout out to Benzino. I don't beef with yeah. you, Benzino. I don't have shit. That shit ended. I said a prayer. Mm. I was saying a prayer, not just for Benzino, but for our entertainers mm -hmm. that we we just gotta go through so fucking much. And while I wanted to feel bad at the end with him doing all that crying and just spilling all the trauma out shit by the time i cut it off i'm jealous a little bit <laughs> crying I was in. wait <laughs> oh that shit looked like six flags to me it's like great oh, adventure man, to be able to go somewhere in a room full of my niggas talk some shit say some war stories about my heyday and then get all my trauma out and just cry in the middle of the room and take it over? Well, you That's my dad. Why didn't you do it when you went on Drink Chance? Uh, because I'm responsible, distinguished, black business man, owner, man, black man. father, black success story. And I, so what? You I can't go have on a there and say, yo, hand me the water because I don't take your platform for granted. Mm. Hand me the water. It's too many cameras. It's too much big business here. And it's too many eyes that's come from this. That's the beauty of me going to link with my brother in Miami, Nori. Is that when you come to New York, you know we lit over here. When we go to Miami, you lit over there. That's the, that's the beauty of black media right. or new media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. So black. you had to be reserved is what you're saying. I'm not even, I'm, I want to say black, but not just black. Because I'll go get with JJ Reddick and we'll start talking new media. Just not controlled Media, mm. old, old, archaic voices with old, controlled, contrived opinions. We get to hear from us, me, you, the Kelsey brothers, Micah, JJ Reddick, Mel Ford, black niggas from the hood. We get to hear it. Yeah. So, Sorry. so yeah, that's why not me. I go over there and it's big business time, but I want to cry. <laughs> you know I want to cry. Inside. I know you was home like, oh, that's some you know I wanted to cry. cry. I tried to force some tears out. I tried to put my finger in my eye. <laughs> I was going to get some tears. That shit looked like a blast. Oh, stupid. A cry session on camera? Y'all ever cry while you was fucking? Yes. No. I might have did it once. Once some makeup sex shit. You guys have never shed a tear while you no. no. This macho, Mr. Macho I, Machismo I know, I know, himself. I know, I know. I saw the hey, face. Colin. I'm Mr. Macho. Yes, you are Mr. Alpha Man. Oh boy. You trying to fool people with pink hoodie strings? But <laughs> you are Mr. Alpha. He's an idiot. Mega. You the mega alpha. No. <laughs> I don't really got no spot. The girls start crying when you hit that spot. I don't really got no spot. So you know no, you, you got a spot. I'm good. <laughs> I wouldn't know. If you hit the I spot, take, though, you, you probably start crying. You might cry. You might cry. You might cry. You take your word for it. She might make you cry. Yo, why do men never want to acknowledge the spot? Because it's back there. You yes. can acknowledge it. Because no, what you got to do to reach the spot is not necessarily in my... Repertoire? Wheelhouse. Oh. It ain't hard to reach the spot. I wouldn't Yo, know. Hey, the oh. long shit that light the candles will get it done. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that get it done? You got candles? Hey, yo, you got that candles in the house? Yeah. That's that's the long bit, the shit. The long bit. The long bit. Yo, no, I like the one that curved now. <laughs> you like the long bit? <laughs> <laughs> you, you and your hey. long bit. I'll take your word for it, Cat Daddy. I'm good. I'll pass. This nigga here. Oh, y'all are nasty, sir. Mm -hmm. I, tr I trust you. Listen, gross. thoughts and prayers to fucking Benzino and anybody else out there who may need him. He ain't, he ain't the only one going through no, some that's shit. True. Not at all. No, that's true. This nigga's going through real shit out here with nobody to tell it to, nobody to talk to. The only time fact. you could think about it is when you're alone in your fucking room with the dark thoughts and the dark voices. And you're running from that. 
Yeah, and yeah, no. yeah, they're just honest, running from yeah, that. Like, we, I, that's the last thing they want. Is yeah, to sit there and, and, and be we self met and we self medicating mm-hmm. with shit, self prescribing mm-hmm. some shit. Mm-hmm. Hearing you talk self about it, self diagnosing, self soothing. I, I think yeah. I think the interview going to bode well for him because it's going to humanize him. It should. He got in my bag. It's going to humanize. Anytime him. I cried publicly, something good came from it. See, that's why I ain't with all that crying in my room. Shit, even they, though I do that too. They was hitting you on the DMs. Who? <laughs> Them. You equate a good, great results to pussy all the time. <laughs> me. me, though. All right. They was hitting me. Yeah. That's what you think I was crying for? for so the bitches get me? <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I just sprinkled the silence in there like, yo, I mean, this, it this, does work. Yo, this is me, my nigga. This is me. A good public cry? You shitting me? He's Are like, you shitting he me? Not, he not scared to be who he really he's is. He's so in touch with his emotions. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's so like, I love it. Because it's easy. All you got to do is drop one or two of the main tears and then just get into your funny sniffling breathing. That's all you got to do. Drop one or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little stutter, stutter, stutter. <laughs> or you can cover your face. and just There's so many ways to do it. Cover the face. Yeah. yeah so you got to cover the face. So many ways to do it. Cover the face. Oh, man. Get the little sniff. Or you can start laughing at yourself like SZA did at the Grammys. Yo, a, cry, a crying used to be in y'all uh, got caught cheating back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nigga, you gotta ask me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I was just asking. Sometimes I hit him with the crying. Sometimes I had that Uno reverse in my car, hit him with the I understand. <laughs> what you want to understand? Why she asked why she feels she has to leave. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Mm. Uh. That is a reverse card. We used to live in like Maplewood with the gas lights. That should, that should work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had them gas lights over there in the suburbs. The second you understand why she leaving, she changed her mind. Mm. That's you want to work shit out. That's a bar. A lot mm. of times that is That's a bar. in fact what happens. Mm. Mm. You little Because she just wanted to be understood. I get That's it, it, baby. I was wrong. I could have done more. Actually, I, would, I, I, would leave, I would leave me I, too. I can't believe I was so oh. blind living in the same house with you missing all the signs that you clearly were giving away. You know what? I took you for granted. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. What's up? <laughs> Damn. I've never been down them roads. Watch little shit. Well, because you don't get caught. I, I was very, you don't very, get very... Um, you do your stealth. dirty on the highway. Oh, shit. Back in the day? Yeah, stealth, I was yeah. You think he's stealth? No, I'm asking him if that's what, that what he would describe himself as. Yo, you stealth? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you look at her and say yes. I said yeah already. I said yes. Oh, my God. You never be an allegation. All right. Uh, uh, anything else that's super important? Oh, we got tours oh, we got, and we festivals. Got festivals out. Yes, festivals. sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Roots Picnic announced their lineup. I'm in there. Yeah, I mean, I am too. It's uh, June 1st and 2nd in mm-hmm. Philly. If y'all get jumped, shot, stabbed, or beat up, don't in hit Philly? the group chat. You said in nah. Philly. Nah. You said in Philly like? No, nah, I'm not. I mean, like, like. Philly, um, clean it up. Philly, your second home. Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Right. That's what he said. Don't say no, the you Philly were niggas. Like, oh no, not Philly. like Philly. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. hell no. Yeah, like it's no, like, no, 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 respectful. No, no, not at all. Philly's my second home. Um, Lil Wayne in the Roots, Jill Scott, Nas, Gunna, Victoria Monet. Gunna is who they should have kicked Jennifer Hudson off for. <laughs> that's who. Mm-hmm. That's who would have got it lit. A rat. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo, stop. What? A rat would have got it lit. I like that rat shit. <laughs> right, them niggas make the slaps. <laughs> but, go ahead. but um, yeah, um, live mixtape, Black Thought, Red Man, Method Man. Phew. Um, Adam Blackstone, Fantasia, Money Long. Mm. And I mean, it's a lot of names on here. Yeah, I'm there. And Andre 3000 doing Blue... New Blue Sun. I'll be at the other stage for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. But whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They wait, wait a minute. They wait a minute. They're meditating Hold now. On now. And it's Philly. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be out oh, there yeah. on the grass. Uh huh. Wait, that might be the stage. I ain't going to hold you. What? Yeah. I'm bringing, in I'm bringing incense. In if mushrooms. I was, if I was <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> incense and mushrooms. Hold on. We got to rethink this. And tapestry. Yo, that so might be it. Some dreads down to the ass. It's in the building in Philly. Some little caramel skin, boy. Be right in my bag during that money long set. The smell of your perfume. <laughs> <laughs> you lock eyes with somebody when that shit come on. 
Oh man, we 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 leaving. <laughs> hey, we we in the it. hotel no, right there. We ain't leave. The hotel right there from the uh, all right, from yeah. the shit. <laughs> it, it, it is. Mm, mm, mm. And if bitches is at the festival, they ain't got no problem with a little walking. Not at all. No, no, not at all. Not at all. And you from out of town? You staying in this hotel too? Mm. Why are y'all oh, talking about what these chicks? What ain't a co- about the hotel? What baby. a co-inky think? Yeah, you might get some grass ass. <laughs> we, <not talking> about. <laughs> we going right over there, bro. Yo, dog. Y'all want a tongue kiss? I don't. Uh, I do. I no. do. I definitely want to talk. With the flutes in the I background? Do. What? <laughs> I'm naked. Or oh, mushroom? I am naked. I'm going to pull uh, my flute out. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Antoine. Wow. You yeah. want to be on the list. <laughs> Y'all yeah, niggas are stupid. You going on crazy. the registry, my boy. Fuck I just want to fuck in the normal conditions of fucking. How about that? <laughs> like Being right? some grass. The grass. Nah, Y'all ain't been out there ever. Get a lot. Yeah. Some it's kicks. a little different. Get Lyme yeah. disease. Y'all lucky I don't write a book. I seen some of you niggas fuck behind a dumpster. <laughs> I just want to also say you should never be that horny. Got the baby done and off. Was, you gotta chill out. That nigga was <laughs> no fucking, more dumpster talk. It was fucking away. It was raccoons and shit by him and ain't. He ain't <laughs> see. He ain't see nothing. I'm like, yeah, move. You're gonna die. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, listen. Sometimes hey, nature calls, man. Sometimes horny wins. A lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes the horny, horny wins. A lot of us here because of horny. Yeah. <laughs> what you talking about, nigga? Mm. I'm here because my dad was that nigga. Nothing my mom could do about it. Same. All right. Okay. Horny one. The horny nigga. Still one. Yeah. The horny <laughs> one. Look at how you try to look at that. Yo, Valentine's Day passed. I don't know why I merged the calls of my parents. Yo, what? Valentine's Day. I, 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 <laughs> you really look for the chaos. Yo. No, because no, cause I was talking to... I merged them calls and my mom just started bitching about some shit from the <laughs> 70s. Like, your dad, your dad never got me a Valentine's Day gift. I was like, that's cap. That's not true. I wasn't even there. And I know that that's not true. Because I know I do on Valentine's Day. And he Day. said, what is, yeah. and he said, thank you, Joey. I'm glad that you know better than that. Yo, moms, women don't let up on the beef, nigga. We're fucking <laughs> 70 years later. <laughs> no. It's up. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Uh, more tours. Um, more tours. More tours. Essence Festival. Woo! They got smoking. They got well, Beyonce, Kendrick. Who else was on there? Wait, excuse mother. me? Yeah. At the Essence Festival? Essence Fest. Essence Fest. But this ain't Texas. <laughs> I saw Jill Scott's there, Coco Jones, Wiz Kid, Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott. Can you read it with like some flavor? Like, uh, like, like the lineup is lit. That's all I got for the lineup. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. That ain't bad. Dougie Fresh. Oh, Uh-oh. where is it? Jermaine Dupree. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Dougie Fresh gonna be at Essence, Essence Fest? Yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans. Here we go. This ain't Texas. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a fool. Keep bang, that beat bang, going. Bang, bang, bang. Hey, and we got our other shit too. <laughs> me, me and Imani out. All right. Mm. Sorry, community, we here now, though. WrestleMania coming up in Philly. And me and Imani are out. You might got something in Philly, yo. You, Imani, and Joe Money. No, no, just me and E. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, re- hey, wrestling community. What the girls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you niggas. Wrestling community. They got some. <laughs> I'm near. I'm here. I'm a part of this thing. I'm coming to WrestleMania in Philly. What what they call it? The WrestleMania? No, right? Oh, I'm coming to WrestleMania in Philly. I'm coming to see The Rock. I'm coming to see what's going on. Don't there, I, I don't know who is hiring the new women wrestlers. They doing a good job. Shawn Michaels. But that ain't Caitlin Clark. At all. No. They are doing or great. Matt Damon face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this ain't Ted, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holy There's a couple of little things they do on the Twitter. Bang, bang, they do them with me on Twitter. Oh. Yo, I'm up in there. Body slam me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Y'all take that L? Word. If you'll have me. Yeah. If you'll have me, I'm near as a new member of the yeah. wrestling community. Any old clips that they try to pull up <laughs> with me talking about wrestling... It's AI. <laughs> it's AI. It's Chat GPT. It's fake. It's a hoax. It's a skit. Nah, they got it is not stuff. real. So I, see the basis of I, was, nah, no, I see y'all at WrestleMania. No, nah, they fire. And they, they tie in the little string right where I like it when I'm about to masturbate, too. Right under this little cuff right here, the thigh. That's nice. 
You know what I'm talking about? They put that shit like right here. <laughs> they give them a little more ass a little bit. Yeah, pump up that. Yeah. Give me a little bit. They talk. Like, they talk. Like, oh. <laughs> they do. That's usually where the money go. Oh, oh man. Give me that little money string right there. <laughs> I'm reckless in the house, Master Bear. Now it's just flying land. <laughs> Yo. Oh. That is disgusting. Hey, I'm, like, I'm lonely in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this ain't Texas. <laughs> yeah. And them oh, nice, nice. uh, Who else? Who else is on tour? Who else on the uh, road? Gunner just announced his tour. He's back outside. Big Gunner. Mm-hmm. North uh, Bittersweet tour, and he bringing uh, Flo Millie with him. Oof. Yo, Perfect I just want to say. Perfect choice. That yeah. Flo Millie is maybe a year and a half or two years from being completely out of here. I don't think it's going to be that long. Mm-mm. Me neither, but I'm just stretching the runway. Oh, okay. Uh, I see some things that have been going on for the last few uh-huh. months. I've been seeing it. And I don't know. I don't know who said or did what up there, but it's a change. It's, yeah, she changed. It's a change. And hold up for a minute. And. All right, I'm going to turn it off. That shit's on. But that was hard. Her single, what's the name? Her two projects been hard. Like, she's Dad, been. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who was it? Whole, whole, whole while you here, and then she did a, came back and which is a while great question here. too. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, that should have been the name Ooh. of that. <laughs> 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 why are you here, yo? <laughs> why are these black? <laughs> <laughs> See, you got to make it work. Because you know? that's the name of the show. He fucking does. Wait, oh, all right. I'm sorry. Too far. Too far. Too far. I take it. I take it. Too far. I take it. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, man. Why? <laughs> Why are you always here? Y'all not supposed to be here. Uh, <laughs> Deborah Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, all right, that was clear. Time to move on. All right, yeah, uh, yeah, what yeah. else? We got? Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. You got what else we got? Frankie Beverly and Maze. Oh my god, Announced Frankie their farewell Beverly. Tour. Sit your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you here? Applies to mad shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, farewell tour? Yes, it's farewell tour. Mm-hmm. Okay, story career. Frankie okay. Beverly, I love you, first of all, and thank you. Thank you for your service, the jams, the slaps. Mm-hmm. Classics. Mm-hmm. All of that shit, man. But What's the butt? The butt is, it really don't have nothing to do with uh, Frankie Beverly, because he's too much of a legend. I'm sending this out to Frankie Beverly's nephews, nieces, uh, caretakers, <laughs> fucking... Anybody, aunt, anybody responsible with taking care of him from this point moving forward, go wheel that nigga's chair in the corner <laughs> and fucking turn it around. Give him some pop, jello. Pop, pop the brake yeah. so he can't move. Yeah. Hey, put the little <laughs> door wedge underneath that nigga's chair. <laughs> hey, hey, put some books behind the two wheel. Make sure the back wheels lock up real like good. Like I lock the back wheel. Put, put some stairs in there. Yeah, and oh. put, yeah, and put a blanket over him so he's warm. You gotta keep him warm. Yeah, I mean, cold, what the old niggas like? A, give him an apple, <laughs> orange, some jello, some fruit, jello, yo, they jello, love jello, do jello. It. Yeah. Yeah, and putting. you don't need to perform ever, ever again. It already hurt our <gasps> souls last time we had to come in here and play the audio of you performing. That hurt as a black. It did. <laughs> and as a white. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, that that shit like was sounding bad. Oh, man. <laughs> but, but I do understand that, you know, you know, farewell yeah, yeah, tour. Yeah, one, yeah. Run it one, up. Run one, it last, up. one last, one last, one last hurrah, so people could say goodbye. Oh shit! Also, while I'm here, I forgot to get into this. I forgot to get into my favorite fucking liar. Where the hell is this lying ass nigga at? Is it, where is he at? Here we go. Look at this lying ass nigga. I was asked this question a couple of days ago. Will you kind of take the farewell tour, or will you kind of just Tim Duncan it? <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be honest because there's times where I feel like Just the fuck up LeBron. <laughs> LeBron, LeBron James LeBron like the lie. says he's 50-50 on whether he will retire like Kobe or retire like Tim Duncan, which was an abrupt. I didn't, yeah. didn't tell nobody. Nobody knows. Just I'm retiring. I'm, I'm out. Who the fuck does LeBron James think he's talking to? <laughs> he said he don't he don't take praise well or some shit like that. He was saying. Who the <laughs> the one who when they when they introduced him at the All Star game went like put this. the crown on <laughs> the, the same person. <laughs> The one I got chosen one tattooed on them. <laughs> the, <fuck are> <laughs> the one who is all about praise. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about, man? Come on, bro. Nothing about LeBron's career says Tim Duncan. Not at all. Nothing. <laughs> it's Nothing. actually the exact Tim Duncan's retirement was in line with Tim Duncan. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. With his character, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. with his player profile. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck think LeBron is not getting multiple farewell tours? Mm. Two seasons. He gonna want every arena to hang, <laughs> yeah, his, hang his jersey yeah, up. Literally. LeBron is crazy. Hey, LeBron yeah. gonna have a camera crew shooting a documentary through mm -hmm. his company. No question. <laughs> every, what do, mm. every single stadium. Good point. Ten part series. And, and Yeah. And then the movie gonna come out. Yeah. In theaters. Yeah, album. Yeah. He had two chains to do the album for For him. sure. Yeah, gotta return a favor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, got to. Favor for a favor. They talking about, they talking about the Boston Celtics have allowed cameras uh, to follow their team to release a doc similar to The Last Dance. Stupid ass fans talking about <laughs> wouldn't it be the first dance? <laughs> Them niggas ain't never did shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't have anything else that I need to get off of my my chest, off my heart, my spirit, and my soul. Just so happy to be here with y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's a good show. Felt today, good being here. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 no, this is a good show today. Yeah, real good show today. Great show. I'm Great sorry, show. Mel. Bro. <laughs> no, for real. It's okay. <laughs> that was good. See, hey, Carter. Oh, now he's sipping his uh, Twizzler tea. <laughs> he just melted down mad Skittles in the cup. <laughs> Uh, let me just double check my list and make sure okay. I'm done here, but I do think that I'm done. Oh, well, before we leave, man, I do want to send a happy birthday out to Feats from the JBTV community. Feats, what up? Her birthday, and she had a nice little celebration space and all that shit last night. So happy birthday, Feats. Yeah, birthday we fuck Feats. with you. Oh, damn. Word, Feats? You ain't inviting niggas to the celebration space? Crazy. Damn. Mm, all right. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Feats. Uh, let's see. Benzino, Vince Stables, Donald Trump. See, the thing is, Capital One buys Discovery. Capital One buys Discovery for $35 billion. Come on, Ish. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it means. Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, I've been on record basically saying the economy is shit, going to shit quicker than most people think and quicker than they're telling us. Um, I think in the next couple of years, give it 10. Uh most people in the United States will be living on some sort of subsidy. That's government mm. that, That's how bad I think it's going to be soon. Mm. So I don't, I don't see it as strange that people picking up all this debt, people living off their credit cards, literally. If you took mm. niggas' credit cards away, they couldn't survive. So I think a lot of the credit card companies going to just start picking up debt and consolidating. We're going to probably be working with three credit card companies soon. Three, maybe four banks. Jeez. That's my opinion. And, uh, and it was a few sports apps merging. Oh, is it really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, there was a few sports apps merging. There's a lot of there's it's a lot gonna of be big bank take mergers bank. and acquisitions happening. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a big bank take A lot of people bank. teaming up to to survive. All yeah, the streamers. ES, ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery have plans to merge to create a big freeze standalone sports streaming service. I thought you were talking about different sports apps. No, I'll no. leave that. They're gonna do a sports streaming service. Yeah, yeah. The three of them. Yeah. All the streamers are merging. Yeah. All the streamers are merging. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be right back to where we were. Mm hmm Cable. Yeah. Just a different cable. They just cut out that company. Yeah. We're going to do it over here. Um. All right. Let me see. Let me see if we have a, bunch. a part of the show. 
Y'all can see if y'all have anything else to get off of your souls and spirits. I was about to say mad shit. Um, drop. Some good music drop. What dropped? I know it was a Kevin Durant verse that dropped. It was fire. Yeah, it was solid. Yeah, no, nah, that verse was pretty good. Sounded like Kevin Electronica on there. <laughs> yeah, no, he raps like that. I remember he did a record with Surf a couple years back. Yeah, he did. He had sent me a record one time. Oh, you been rapping? He's been, been rapping for, for a while. Yeah. Like, and really doing it too. Let me see. Where do I have that verse somewhere? Here we go. The booze was a little loud, but. Yeah, mad loud. <laughs> mad loud. Shout out to Kevin Durant. Yeah, shout out uh, to Kevin Shout out to Stiley. Shout out to Stiley. You might have lost it on that beat. That's your little bag. Ish, you just told me that if Jay Z was in the room, I'd be scared to rap. You don't try to be my friend now. Don't try to be my friend again now. Don't say that at all. Yeah, but don't be my friend now. Oh, Fuck out of here. Shut <laughs> up, man. Um, all right. Uh, Deron, Deron Jr. All right. What's up, Deron? What's up, DJ? Deron Jr. says, the nigga right above him is having a baby mama problem, but all right. Deron Jr. says, love and light to you all. And uh, this is our part of the show segment. Shout out to the Patronis. Uh, if you are not a member of Patreon, please sign up now. And because uh, you guys are special and we love y'all, but you $50 niggas. Super. Super love. Super love for y'all. Uh, love and light to you all. I need to paint a picture and know, and know what you would do in the situation I was recently in. All right, Deron, we'll help. So I'm out at the bar. I meet Good a girl times. and we are feeling each other. Mm. That's the, oh. whew, that's God, the kind of it. night. Woo. She asked me to pretend to be her boyfriend for the night so Woo. she can curve other guys. How and I and I agreed, thinking this might go my way. It sound, that sounds like a layup. So a very large guy approaches while I'm a yeah. few feet away uh, trying to talk. <laughs> Back out. <laughs> I see it and I make my way over. Uh, wait, let me make sure he said that. I see it and make my way over. And she points at me and says, I'm with him. He then points his finger in my face and says, I'll fuck your nigga up. <laughs> what do you do next? He lied. He li- yeah, I don't believe that. He lied. That way. But it's funny. Well, he paid his it money, so I mean, yeah. you got to answer yeah. him. Um, <laughs> go ahead. I'm trying to think of a response. Yeah, I'm going to start making out with the girl. <laughs> uh, like, I was about to say I know, Thank you for the clarification I know, yeah. I know you're making out bags <laughs> <laughs> I mean Yeah Let's let's show them You don't give a fuck That's why I don't play games Yeah I, I'm, I'm not playing that game with That's that. why I don't play games Cause I would've thought You trying to make somebody else jealous Yeah I wouldn't even have thought to just curb God. There's a, a specific dude that you think might or be he, here. You know he your coming ex in or your ex's peoples yeah. is in here and you want to make him jealous yeah. or and them I, jealous. I said what I said about the Vince Staples show and how these chicks will get you yeah. in trouble every time. Yeah, you I'm get with y'all. Like that. I am not, not agreeing to do this at all, at Never. all. The only, no, 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 no. I'm Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. It's definitely Let Cap. Me it me depends on the situation you're into, for sure. What's That's, the bar? That's I wouldn't have done it in his situation. However, there have been plenty of situations where you meet you and your crew meet another crew and spend hours together in the spot. Mm-hmm. It's not a quick we feel in each other assessment. And in those hours that you spend together, this is my people girlfriend. are visibly trying to get with the girl, and you are just in the area. And now you do the eye thing. She knows, and it's like an unsaid thing that all right. Yeah. I'll play you close for the night so so it can act as a deterrent. Mm-hmm. But now when homeboy, some big ass gargantuan comes up and says, yo, I'll fuck him up. What do you do? Because now it's, it's a manhood thing at that point. He don't know if that's not your real girl. Not for me. See, any, anytime that happens, and that probably has happened to me at some point, but we was having so much fun as a gang that we all mm-hmm. laughed. And it depends on what kind of spot you're in, though. I do want to mm-hmm. emphasize the importance of that. What kind of is this a, a bar where people regularly get beaten, yeah. Yeah, I'm stabbed, about and like shots? In melody. Yeah. <laughs> if we're at a place that's well, <laughs> if we're at a place that's cool, <laughs> where it don't really go down like that, yeah. I fuck one of you niggas up in melody. It has happened. <laughs> I'm just saying, but if it's gang with us, if we having a blast, like if we had melody, it's fucking five girls. We got some niggas here. There's nothing that homeboy could do to that's- deter. 
what we about to get going, buddy. Hey, you could take that uh, cre- creatine shit up the block. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gym right there. Yeah, yeah but, hey, hey, have at hey, it. Man, you DC, go, man, DC's told you about them, them the way you work out niggas yeah, anyway. You so and your CTE. Go ahead with all that. <laughs> head on up the block, buddy. But it's just you and one other. Oh, then it's easier for me and her to get out of here. Here we go. He got he to gotta put a hand on somebody mm-hmm. for this to escalate. For me. Mm. For me. I'm Same. only talking about me. Same. I don't have that type of foolish pride that's going to make me ruin the night on my own accord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. You're mad quiet over there. Because he want to fight the nigga. I know my <laughs> he want to fight him. He got a poker on him. He got that type of pride. He got a poker on him. He want to go to jail. I know you do. I know, I know you got away, you. I not see his kids. He got, got, he got, he got the poker on him. Keep a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> I just you got that wallet size pick of your kids, right? You pull it out, look at your kids. Come on, do the, do the punk dad shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I just think that um, I don't put myself, I try not to put myself in them type of circumstances Same. situations because. Mm-hmm. You never know. And again, we always say that girls will get a nigga lined up. For sure. I would, uh, my brain would already be some niggas coming here. She know he coming mm-hmm. here. And him and his team, and she trying to make that nigga feel stupid with the light-skinned cute nigga. No, no, no. <laughs> you won't line me up, my mom. I'm good. Depends I'm on the bar. not playing them games. Huh? All depends on the bar. But now, let, 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 get, let's get out of here. But look, I'll be, I'll be yeah. a man for tonight. There you go. You don't, you don't think you still be cute with about 50? <laughs> they might like you more. No. Chicks like war, right. war scars. I'm just shit. asking. I got war scars. I'm saying the buck 50 might I've been, I've been shot twice. That get them wet enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's your man. No, he's not. I'm, still, I'm, I'm just saying. Not it I'm just it used to work. It's really not my man. It used to work. Wait, now you I see now, the scar? Now, no, no, now I see how the Splash Brothers was getting them. Stab, shot. This is what oh, shit. Oh, the Splash Brothers is victims. <laughs> you, you like Benny and 38 we, Splash. We were selling, we were selling trauma. We victim, we selling we victim trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we did. And you just got free, right? Yep. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Scott right here, yo. Different. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, I hope we was able to help you, fella. Yeah, I don't know if we did, but. You, you pussy. <laughs> You pussy nigga, cause why you why you stopping there? What you did? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just stopped it right there. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yo, girl, what girl. would y'all do?" He said, "Bitch, let's get out of here." It's That's only been two times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's only Bitch. been two times it's in my life up. where the big, 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 biggest diesel brolic nigga decided to turn around and say, "I don't give a fuck about none of that too much." <laughs> 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 Only twice. What happened? Which time? <laughs> see how you, yo, you see how you had to put the disclaimer on it? What? The big, big, yo, he was huge, yo. He was tall as hell, yo, before he slammed me on my head. I just want to just press, display to y'all how tall this nigga really was. I don't know that either one of these niggas could have slammed me on my head. It's a joke, bro. Relax. I don't know that. I'm elusive. You gotta catch you. I won the fucking hundred hundred yard dash when I was sixteen, nigga. Wow. And one of them times was a crowded club. So don't sleep on my ability to. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. The other time was in the car. So you got to drop. You win. You got me. You got me. You was in a car. You fucking right. He was in the car. He was. He found his car. He was. <laughs> Wait, in the same car. No. Oh, I nigga, told you the story ain't got before. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. No, yeah, me. What the fuck would y'all talking about? You in your car, and he's in another car? He was. Until he got oh, out. Oh, he got out. You oh. were stuck in traffic in Hoboken. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I made that little oh, yeah. left by Ainsworth. <laughs> I cut some nigga off. He oh, yeah, honked. You did yeah, nigga. You about that. Somebody dick, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. <laughs> And then I was stuck. <laughs> I couldn't uh-huh. drive. Man, nigga got out, and I wasn't playing the mirrors. You had the top down? So by the time I, I don't know, nigga, I ain't want no damn top down. By the time I looked to the side, nigga, was at the window. Well, I had the window down. Mm-mm. See, that's mm. where I lost. I had the window down, and I, I wasn't playing the mirror. I looked to the side, he was right there. He said, Joe Button, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> none of this Joe Button shit. I will, I will slide you right now, nigga. <laughs> So have a nice day. 
By the time I thought of something to say, he was on his way back to his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Like, like, nah, right. you, nah, you got a point. I gave him the little driver <laughs> no, wave. No, no, you <laughs> just, you I was wild. Little beep, the quick beep. You know? <laughs> low, low, low. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that little driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That little drive, you look at the, look at the rear view. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo, sometimes it's on you. That's it. Yeah. Sometimes you didn't you just didn't have to hey, do what you did. You made it home, right? Yes. No, I went to eat too. <laughs> I, went, I went to eat. It was brunch. Yeah. You couldn't I even went. enjoy your fresh toast, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga in there looking at the door. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't let him talk to me like that if I was outside. <laughs> but, but you got me, babe. And his window roll up mad slow. Yeah. It was a manual window. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> nah, that oh, driver shit. polite wave is funny, Every yo. Time, That's <laughs> hilarious, yo. Oh, man. Anyway, I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. You got hey, it. Sometimes you just be just be wrong, man. And so I, you gotta just be a I, big a big nigga with muscles to make you be accountable. If I'm in oh, a, if shit. I'm in a car, it don't have <laughs> to just I'm be start, a big I'm nigga start with muscles. Doing some pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> if that's gonna get the accountability out of you, Corey, <laughs> go to the gym. Yo, use a motherfucker, boy. How many times is that that he has just said fuck the friendship this episode? Oh, <laughs> so I'm just asking. Yeah, <laughs> There's a little tally. Five or six. A couple. It gotta be right. Five or six. It gotta be five or six. That's my man, though. That's my man. Y'all know that all I have to do is say that's my man. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the real shit. The truth. <laughs> all right. Nigga no, told no, me no he would throw me in the. Trash for a twig. Well, old twig, yo. <laughs> yo, I can't get over that. That hurt. That oh, would hurt. Man. Half a twig. And he ate the twig still without knowing who it belonged to. Don't He's the man. That's my I only man. ate one of the sticks. It was <laughs> only two in there. <laughs> it was only they two in there. They wasn't yours. And they were in there for months. There you go. Ain't nobody yo, missing them. You know the funny shit? H probably have a blast at that little store uh, in Newark Airport. When it just reads your credit card, you just grab shit and walk out. He's going in right to the candy. He's <laughs> rack up. He rack it up in there. That shit is aggy. That store? Yeah. I stopped doing it too just because of uh, Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they got us, man. Yeah. Yeah. They, they never, got us, got us. No, no, movie. they do got us, but don't make, make me feel easy. comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> That's crazy. That's how they get you. You walk in and just take what you want and walk nah, out you know, and a cop don't come? I set up. A, it's like you testing me now. I, oh, I think I'm pussy. I set up a PayPal shit for. Uh, the, the, That's that mm-hmm. issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Dog. Welcome to 2004. Asked for my whole <laughs> life to set that shit up to take it. I'm like, yo. I don't know if these hoodies worth that. <laughs> like, yo, I don't know, yo. Fuck these hoodies. Some drug dealer niggas, niggas want your whole world. Well, because yo. PayPal holds you accountable. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hold them without the push-ups. Yeah. Like you was looking for. <laughs> Got you. Accountability. That's why that it shit did. was crazy. Because oh if somebody God. fuck around over yeah, there, then you got to find out. Mm. Got and you. don't think you're gonna be making a lot of money. <laughs> mm. We reporting. Mm-hmm. Oh no, nah. that's and, what. That's and what and all they, I they need to report on themselves. That stealing. hoodie got to be two fifty. They stealing. Don't stealing. sell that one for one fifty. Oh, no, for real with the don't, pink. Don't start your shit. No, yet. that's the best hoodie yet. That one is two fifty. Yo, what are you talking about? Right bro? for Easter too. <laughs> Ooh, we out of here. <laughs> What's wrong we, with you, son? Yo, he gonna be so mad when I start selling my <laughs> Oh, It's the same design. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a coincidence. Holy shit. Yo, <laughs> damn, man. Same logo, too. Oh, damn, shit. Yo, great minds. For real. My shit, the, the red yo, can laces. I order a hoodie? I did bro? the red laces, though. Absolutely. Can I please order a hoodie? Yes, sir. Where? On the website. What? I hate this. It's yeah, done. I, you I know just, what? All right, nah, don't worry you about know it. I have it. I, I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist a little bit. And, 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 nigga, I, I want to give you money. Ooh, a I'm procrastinating a perfectionist. <laughs> nah, 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 I ain't been procrastinating. Hoodies coming soon. <laughs> nah, they done. Uh, uh, You're going to show me four, four or no, five hoodies. I start using the AI. The descriptions on AI is nuts. You should just be like, yo, the elaborate. I'm like, yo, nigga, you ain't Shakespeare. Sit your AI ass down. It's a hoodie by Roscoe. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Nah, this he week, mad at I'm AI saying, for trying to yeah, help, help, nah. help him sell hoodies. This shit be like it's so comforting. Yeah, I just read that they sold the uh, Reddit sold their 
data to AI to use for like AI modeling. Oh boy. That is the wow. worst idea I've ever heard in my entire life. I can only imagine what Guess what? There's a cesspool of human yeah, existence. Exactly. They all are selling their Thank data yeah, for sure. to AI. Yes. For sure. Uh, yeah. Every and, last one of them. And it's a phenomenal idea what they're doing. I mean, hold up, light is in the air right quick. <laughs> hold up, hands in the air, wave them side to side on this one. Y'all know the vibes. Come on, man, because Mel did it. I was already running out of lighter fluid like a crackhead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, low, I'm low, but it's cool. <laughs> With how I hope on. Hey, Big Mel. <laughs> Melodies and sleepers. <laughs> huh? Listen to what black women have to say. Hey. <laughs> Mm. All right. Don't burn yourself. I was about to. Uh, I really liked this show today. It was a good. Episode. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Great show. Yeah. I did really enjoy this show, man. Hopefully, y'all yeah. enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Again, shout out to you wherever you are, whatever you might be going through out there. Hopefully everybody has a real good rest of the week planned. Again, happy birthday, Feast. We love you. Happy birthday. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. We bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva Dirty. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed minded women need things. Grab you a Tylenol. You might need it. Not that I'm amazing. It's amazing. amazing. <laughs> oh, it's just rapping hove to you. It's over. It's over real quick. <laughs> so stupid. Bitch. Yo, we love y'all out there. Y'all hold it down, man. Remember to stay sucker free out here. Shout to all the real niggas all over the world. Shout to the ladies always. Shout to the parents always. Grandparents always. All right, we gone, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this shit. I had a blast. 700's off to a good start. Off to a good start. I like That's it. Right. Feeling good. Shout out to our brother Flip, wherever he is, man. Yes, sir. Everybody out there going through something, we love you, man. Hold your head. You can do it. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? <laughs>